Ladies and gentlemen, we've been assaulted by bottlenose dolphins. The Wildcrats sent the dolphins to kill Christopher Gorgeous, Tiffany Barbie, and me, JB Lee. Save us. Save us from the Wildcrats. the button that I put up there, the replay button up there. Leave that music playing for a minute. What, where is the button? The replay button. What'd you do with it? Did you take it? No, he talked it off. Your little monster child. Yeah. He's got it. Oh. This Crystal. is the bottlenose dolphin that was sent. Little monster. Look at his flippers. It's terrifying. <laughs> what are you doing? Get him out of here, please. Jesus. What the hell? That's our producer who just sends the six-year-old into the middle of the intro of the show mm. to ask me questions about whatever. What did he ask? Couldn't even fade that either. Just what did he stop ask? Stop it. What? What did he ask? I don't even know. I'm not even worried about it. Go- uh, he- hello, everybody. Welcome to Double Special. Oh, uh, b- back on Wednesday night. Sorry about all that business. Uh, it, w- it was the actual end of the line at the Lost in Translation, was right? Was he the dolphin? The- I don't know what he's talking about. Don't let's not let's not entertain him. He'll be back in here to explain it, and then it'll be another twenty minutes. Uh, <laughs> it's Wednesday. If you're listening in Ireland, it's Friday. Uh, the weekend's here for you guys, but not for us. It's Wednesday. We got a lot of stuff to talk about. Got a great show lined up for you tonight. I think Brady Ferguson from Canada will be calling in, Mr. Brady Ferguson. Give Ooh. us a little, uh, give us a little bit Canada. of time. Give us a bit of time, Brady, to get rolling. I know you're you know buzzed up there in the Great White North. Um, Tiffany right now is destroying pretzel chip things. She is indeed. There's so, a peanut so butter in the butter. middle. What? There's a there's a peanut butter in the middle? Mm-hmm. Double special of the show. The phone number is always 727-475-6139. Tonight on the show we'll talk about a few things. Tiffany, first of all, is back from uh, Dallas. Ebola free. Eh? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Look at her. You can't. Wh- why Jesus. did you eat those before the show started? Why? Because I had plenty of time. I did. I'm asking her question now, and she has. I did. Can't answer. I ate them before the show, but now I'm still eating them. Uh, um. All right. What? Uh, mean what? Oh yes. Okay. No. Before what? I went to Dallas, <laughs> I was coughing and stuff because I had mold in my place. But now I am better because going to Dallas actually helped. Yeah, but you're back in the apartment with the mold, you said. Is that yeah, still bothering you? Yeah, the contractors have been there, and they've been fixing it like all week, and they're going to be there tomorrow's the last day. Are they in your room? Mm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> She's like, oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, only a couple times they've had to come in, but it's annoying because they talk to me drawer. through my door. You're rifling through your unmentionables. and looking well, I have to out make sure you. I'm dressed all the time, which is kind of annoying. What do you mean dressed? Because you mean? never know if they're going to knock on the yeah, door. Yeah, but what, do you walk around naked in your apartment? Well, in sometimes condo? I sit there in just my panties. And sit there like and look how look how proud she's like. Sometimes I know. I get a little racy in my uh, my abode. And uh-huh. like and like I'm on the computer like playing games or stuff. In your room or out in the in my room in the common room. Oh, okay. In your room. What, what kind? Oh th- no, no, no. I'm just I just assuming they're comfortable. I'm wondering if they have patterns on them. They're you know she doesn't sometimes she's not, she's not yeah. a thong girl, so they're not thongs. Yeah, I'm assuming they're like woolen or something. I don't know. A woolen? <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> Burlap panties. They're very cute. <laughs> no. All right, so tell us about your trip to Dallas, though. That's Give awesome. us how was it? Can we wait? All right, I'll go through the rest. Eat uh, the damn. See, I, this is why I should have never introduced you to the pretzel. That was nip. yeah. Uh, we'll talk about last week. Uh, we had Almighty on the show. That was interesting. Uh, we'll talk about Doitos. That's another thing we're going to talk about and disgustingness that that is and how Americans are awful. Uh, also, we'll talk about. We're very excited. First time in history, mankind has made an amazing feat. Uh, Jordan's excited. I'm, I am actually very excited about so it. So cool. It's the Russians, right? No. Just the European Union? European Space Agency. Just like, you're yeah. European NASA. Uh, and they have landed on a comet. They did that today. They landed the first time. It's like, uh, what was that movie with uh, Ben Affleck where they landed on a comet? Armageddon? Yeah, it's like Armageddon, right. Except no. they're not blowing it up. Yeah, no, it's an asteroid. This is a comet that was an asteroid. Okay, but aren't comics, don't they kind of have asteroids in the middle or are they just balls of ice? Are you saying ice? comics? I know, I said that. because Yeah, you said it twice. Well, I had peanut butter before. It's screwing me up, dude. No. I had peanut butter before, so I said comet. Comets. Two, two entirely comets. different plosives. Okay, anyway. <laughs> they, landed, comets. they landed on a comet, and it yeah. took like... They, they launched this in like 2004. Before YouTube existed. That freaks me out. <laughs> Damn. I know. They It's cool. If there's an animation on YouTube, you can check it out. What's the name of the uh, probe? It's called the, the Rosetta Probe. Yeah, the Rosetta. Not the stone. Don't get sucked into those language courses. <laughs> 
Yeah. So this probe actually was on a rocket. They shot it off in like 2004, and it's been making like uh, orbits throughout the solar system. Yeah. Not planetary, but solar system. And w- at one point, out of the solar system, and then back in. Mm, no, I watched no. the animation, dude. It gets like whips. It got a whip from Mars. It got like a, a they call it a, like a gravity bu- nudge or it, a push. It, it went past Mars, but it didn't out. go out of the solar system. Well, that, okay. Well, that, the animation that's I out saw. past Pluto. No, it well, didn't I, go that far. It went way out, dude. Okay. I'll show you the animation. Anyway, now it's caught up. It somehow with the math mathematics that they did is able to catch up with the comet, and they uh, released the probe from the rocket today, and it landed safely on a moving comet. Yeah, it's crazy. Awesome. Could people be on it? Check in! <laughs> check in! <laughs> Just what? had to nip that right in the bud. What? Could people be on it? Oh, my God. <laughs> check in! New York plastic surgeon working on vacation boobs. Check in. Uh, all right. Ease this up on your mic. What, uh, what was that again? Vacation boob jobs. Apparently, he's developed uh, a new kind of breast implant that only lasts for about two to three weeks. That's scary. So you can get like boobs for vacations or weddings, and then they just shrink back to normal. That's awful, I though. don't think I would want to do that. This does not sound healthy, like long-term-wise. Well, sure it's not long-term. It's short-term. Yeah, it's, and it's, well, is it invasive? Yeah, but it'll probably give you cancer. I don't know. Day. Well, read the damn article. Did you read the article before you brought well, it he's up? Not, it's, he, he normally, right now, he's using saline solutions to puff them up for a day so you can get like one day boob jobs but yeah apparently he's figured out some kind of saline plus additive oh god so i'm assuming it's just an injection but right. what the hell do i know i don't know no, that's not I, that doesn't no. sound good at all uh-uh. damn it it's mm. gonna cost 2500 bucks that's almost like a quarter of a regular boob job it only lasts a couple of weeks no i would not do it for like two reasons yeah, <laughs> oh you had two actual reasons I, yeah okay. i Oh, that's funny. (laughs) I just got that, why it would be funny. All right, pretzel girl. What what are the two reasons? Reason number one is it probably gives you cancer in the long run. Saline? Reason number two is, like... Wait, let's go back up to reason one. Saline is in your body naturally, so it doesn't cause cancer. Yeah, Yeah, but they've never done... I don't like to do anything that hasn't been done for at least 20 years. Like saline going through an IV, like in a needle that gets injected into you at the hospital, (laughs) like whenever... But doesn't it make your skin stretch out and stuff? And don't you think you'd get stretch marks from it or something? That's a a far cry from cancer. Let me just say that. Well, it's all the same. (laughs) (laughs) It's not all the same. One kills you, the other makes you unsightly a bit. And then my second (laughs) reason is I wouldn't want to be any cuter than I am or attractive. It's already annoying enough. Uh, Are you saying you're so cute now that if anything else happened, no. like you'd go over the cute meter? I'm just saying. Holy crap. No, I I'm know. just saying. Wow. No, I'm just saying like it's already annoying. My attractive level is already annoying. To who? To me. Like people are annoying. Like they're like. Like people, boys are like very annoying. But are, like if I were cuter, they they would be even more annoying. Are so people like, like walking up to you and like squeezing your cheeks? Oh, you're so cute. What no, what is happening that's so annoying like, to you? Men are hitting on well, you. Well, yeah, you saw that video of that poor girl walking down the street and people like hitting on her. It's like the same thing. When you're good looking, people annoy you more. Hmm. So like they want to talk to you and be by you. Like if you're unattractive, people don't want to be by you, and that's nice. So if I was even more attractive by making my boobs bigger, imagine how much more annoying it would be. It would like up it by at least a few percent. So you're saying your cute factor has been uh, hurt by the fact that your breasts are not large. I'm sure more you have more potential. If you had bigger breasts, then bam. You know, you're now, I think it here's would attract a, more people. What happens, like, hey, say maybe you get invited to a comedy festival in New York, right? And, like, maybe there being that much more cuter would be helpful, wouldn't it? So maybe just for those two weeks, you get the boob job to be that much cuter for yeah. the comedy contest. And then it's, no. after two weeks, you're back to yeah. you know, well, like, a little less cute. In yeah. New York and L.A., you know, the cute... the, the People are more attractive there a lot of times, right? In New York? Yeah, and in L.A. Like, everyone's yeah. all kind of done in up. In certain parts of New York. It has yeah. nothing to do with, like, density of population and just seeing more people. But no, go on. <laughs> well, because they're all, like, actory, a lot of people actory? and stuff. Actory? Or model uh, Not stuff. in New York. So not necessarily. I'm just saying, though, that I just would not uh. want any more attention. And having bigger boobs will give you more attention. Oh, well, thank God. Unless thank you're you. among the actorish. Or whatever. Which you were this weekend. You were hanging out on the set of a film. I was. Well, that's very actorish. But yeah. I was the second cutest person imagine, on set. Listen, imagine how much fun you would have had had you got the the twenty four hour implant deal. Mm-hmm. No, Holy crap! Yeah. I already had so. What much movie? Fun. Movie? I don't know anything about a movie. Look at the girl with the boobs over there. She's yeah. eating pretzels. No, and peanut I, butter in them. 
I would use them though. Like I guess if I had bigger boobs, I would use them to like hold food and like things. Like <laughs> I would like <laughs> use them like as a table or storage. Well, there you go. Yeah, how much saline are you putting in there? Jesus. I, yeah, enough right? for a shelf. <laughs> Knickknacks, you know, not not like a full bookshelf. You can't put a dictionary or an encyclopedia on there. A little crystal figurines? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You can put three yeah. or four of those on there. Troll dolls, whatever you got. <laughs> food? Yeah. I'm thinking of food. Uh, I wonder if we'll do it for a man. Oh, pr- yeah. He actually, they, they I cut that part Shut out, the but hell. they will do it for like pet implants or oh calves. My God. Yeah. Like, if you want to like look like beef yeah. up, yeah, I can yeah. beef up. Go on, a cru- go on a cruise and be like, "What up? What up? <laughs> Just don't bump me. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't bump into me because you can sailing everywhere, and then I'll get cancer." You, know, you want to sleep on a waterbed? <laughs> Just come on. <laughs> you know. That's awful. <laughs> yeah, because it's not like muscular. It'd be like mushy. All right. Yeah, it would be like a water balloon. Ugh. Anyway, yes, we're next. moving on. Yeah, I'm waiting for you. Check in. Latino Review reports Marvel Studios is considering an Aunt May movie from Spider-Man. Why? No Spider-Man, just Aunt May. No. They'll milk this stuff till the very end. I know. They? Dude, but Aunt May is like the least interesting character in Spider-Man. I Supposedly, Why? I don't understand it either. It's just like her visiting Uncle Ben at the cemetery? Well, they, they say it's going to be a younger version of the character mm-hmm. before Peter Parker came into her life. So let, let's cut out all the cool stuff about Spider-Man. Right. And they're going to make it into uh, some kind of espionage story like Mad Men. No. Which, yeah. Oh, my God. Well, Milking it so hard. It's like, you know what? How do we get the murder she wrote demographic into these Marvel movies? Because we're not making <laughs> all the money already. <laughs> yeah, it's, but here's uh, the thing. Oh, okay. So it says Marvel already once tried to reinvent the young May Parker with Trouble, a 2003 romance comics miniseries where she was revealed to be Spider-Man's biological mother. A lot of weird things That's there, odd. too. That's odd. Yeah. But she's what? Yeah. Whatever happened to his real parents? Were they killed? I, Do we ever find out what happened to Peter Parker's real parents? I don't know. I, I don't it's know. probably in some storyline. They were probably yeah, killed in front of him. Plus, dude, it's Latino review, so it's probably going to be like Univision. And listen, if you're a Hispanic, I'm not trying to offend you, but I've seen the programming over there. Like, It's not all that great. You've got a few. It's coming along. Sabado Gigante. Right? They're getting oh, better, but you show. got you still got a guy with a beanie and a propeller on top. That's comedy to you guys still. So... Uh, again, I'm not trying to be racist. I'm just saying it's the, the standards for Univision, some of these Latino programming, the soap operas especially. Holy okay, Christ. This is, this oh, is, it's going to be on Univision? I know, Univision? it's a movie, but it's Latino Review. Why no, they're Latino? reporting it. They're not but making why, it. Why Latino Review? Yeah, That's why, did you why are know. they reporting it? Because they She's are the be rumor. Hispanic. She's going to be a Hispanic May, Aunt May. You, now you're just making now crap up. And like, Peter Parker came <laughs> from Puerto Rico. She would and he be really, Mayo. Yeah, right. He escaped. He, he escaped uh, Fidel Castro's, uh, you know, reign and came over here and lived in Miami. So, now you're uh, just getting racist for no stupid. reason. It's not racist. You saw How one word Latino and you're like, oh, no, we can't have we can't have oh, Latino. I made May. Latino references. It makes me racist. Whatever. I don't want to get into this with you. All right, Seriously. check in, check in. By next year, you should be able to small. <laughs> you should be able to buy a small device that plugs into your smartphone and then zaps your brain to change your mood. Wow. Check in. Why would anyone want to do that? Apparently, a set of electrodes connected to the phone, and it has a short-lived energizing effect that feels a little like drinking a can of Red Bull, no according to them. Thank, no, thank you. Uh-uh. You know what I think? Uh, no. How does that uh-uh. change your mood, though? Yeah, it doesn't change your it mood. Changes it changes your... You yeah, well, that doesn't mess you up, but it'll change, you know, like... Wakes you, you up. You physically, but it's not going to change your mood. Well, I don't know. Like, if you're mad and you do that to yourself, wouldn't you be more mad? How how would it make you happy? Yeah, you'd be well, you'd be energized, mad. <laughs> also, apparently, also you can use it to produce a calming effect more potent than drinking a few beers or taking Benadryl. I've what? never taken Benadryl to calm down. I thought that yeah. was more for like when you're dying a bee sting or something. No, or well, itchy, itchy, one yeah, of those or cold symptoms. But yeah, uh, yeah, yeah this, no. I don't know. This country's out of control. Mm-hmm. No, no, Don't believe it? No, no, no. no, I believe it, but why? I What's think it's, it's not. some form of transcranial direct current stimulation. It's well, been tested in various forms for years. Placebo? But it's yet to be approved by the U.S. Food, which doesn't mean anything. The U.S. Well, food and Drug Administration yeah. is a bunch of I bet it's a placebo effect kind of deal. How is it placebo? It's actual. Look, we've done it here. We, yeah, I we, mean, we shocked. Let me ask you that. You've been shocked. Did you feel better afterwards? Uh, Did it change your mood? Yeah. Maybe we weren't doing it the right way. <laughs> You don't know. This is like maybe a totally different. Yeah, I mean, there's all kinds of frequencies and wattages and voltages that I don't understand that can be involved. (laughs) That I don't understand. (laughs) Yeah, don't really. (laughs) 
<laughs> uh, I just this screams of uh, how can we get money for a grant? What can we do? What can well, we study? He's selling it. No, and he's then like, you end up like you, hold on, you end up like Bill Murray in Ghostbusters when he's just shocking <laughs> that dude to make his gum pop out of his but mouth. What if it works? <laughs> what if it works? What if you can actually just sit there? You're at work. You're going, oh, I can't. Believe, I got to get through like another two hours of this. How am I gonna make it? <laughs> Yeah, but yeah. If it works and it gets you zapped up, man, no. eh? is that healthy? That's can what that coffee's can for. that be he- well? No, but I mean it's more instantaneous. But can that be healthy? Uh-huh. Electric shocks to the uh-uh. transcranial nerve. Cancer. I mean, your brain is just electrical impulses traveling along nerves. Maybe you're just adding more electricity to your brain. I understand that. But yeah. your, your, heart, right. your heart also works on electrical conductivity. And if you mess up that rhythm, you could your heart could stop. Yeah. Well, that's why you're doing it to your head and not your heart. <sighs> I don't like it. The end. <laughs> Jordan just, Jordan's that way. He's headed that way. He wants to hang from hooks. And that's his birthday. No, I, oh Jesus, no! <laughs> I saw the Hellraiser. I don't want to do that crap. That was awful. I don't have to wake up in somebody's attic. On ah, yeah. I need to feel pain <laughs> to be alive. Jesus. I just remember like when he comes up out of the fluid and like forms in the scale and everything. It's like I must feed. I was thinking more in terms of the story that I saw on some freak show, reality show, where this 18 year old girl was celebrating her birthday and she did it by having a suspension session. I don't know if you know what a suspension session is. Do you know what a suspension session? Is? Uh, I've seen people doing that. Yeah. What do they do? Hang upside down? No, they hang on hooks. Hooks. They actually take because they're in a piercing, so they take these big like f- <laughs> like big huge fish hook meat hook things. They're like you know not that big, and then in a pattern on their back boom boom bam bam like right down on two lines right uh and they hook it right into Mm -hmm. their back and then they put ropes on it and they get suspended for like i don't know 40 minutes or whatever it's pulling i'm not kidding are you joking no i'm not kidding it's true yeah and they do that leprechaun and and for her that was a celebrate her 18th birthday she was going to celebrate by doing the suspension hanging what (laughs) what Hold on. You've never seen that or heard about that? What? It's a common thing. They put holes in their back? Well, they're holes where the hooks are, but then they yeah. take the hooks out. I don't... What? They leave behind two holes for every hook. Yeah. It goes through. They pass it through. It's like a piercing. Oh, but yeah. they have like eight of them. Like what you did to your I ears. Just, I yeah. Sometimes I just think... <laughs> <laughs> no, my mom did that to me when I was a baby. Uh-huh. But sometimes I just think that people that request these weird things should just be like... I don't know. Like, I think they should just be shot really like how weird is that i don't want humans that like that kind of crap being walking around why because that's scary they want to put holes through skins and suspend people no themselves yeah not other people that's creepy Okay, What's maybe. wrong with their brain? All right, see, this this goes back to how where we're at in this country, where you don't like it, so nobody else should be able to do That's it. That's creepy. Well, of course it is to yeah. you, but to them That's it's like a, a form of expression. I'm it, just saying. It's kind of like seeing a grown woman trying to pick out a wand at a child shop <laughs> in a theme park. No, it's not. That's a little creepy to me. <laughs> I don't want those people they around. They should be shot, yeah, those people. Yeah, but, like, they're hanging themselves through I their get skin. it. Look, it's not for me either. I'm just saying. Uh, I, I brought it up because of the, the shock thing. It's some people need that in their lives to feel alive. I, I think that's part of their thing. I, mean, you know? uh, I can't uh. believe people like that live. Have you ever thought about getting a tattoo or anything like that? I have a tattoo, remember? Okay, so that's along the same line. Not quite mm-hmm. as extreme, but it's the same thing. No, your self mutilation. It, it yeah. certainly is. Yes. And, I didn't do and it because I like the feeling. I just wanted a cool tattoo on my back. Uh. I didn't like the actual process of it. Why didn't you get like a lick it? on one or something? Why did you get the? Because it like stays forever. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what? I'm just saying they're they're in si- they're in similar neighborhoods. Where do people come That's why up with this? When she gets a boob job, she's gonna go all the way. Yeah. No no half measures for Tiffany. Right. No. Yeah. No 48 hour boob thing. Yes, Crystal, our producer. How could how could first of all hanging from hooks and having and getting a tattoo definitely are not in the same realm of things it's all part of ink of and crazy. piercing it's all sort of the same yeah, thing. dude that's like serial serial killer kind yeah, of exactly. creepy it's not no yes, serial killer has yeah. ever hung himself from what? hooks what are you talking about i saw a about? movie i saw a movie oh and here we go and there was a bathtub and there was hooks uh, i saw candy man and, and candy man he came out of a mm-hmm. toilet stall no, that's where all the and uh, i'm almost positive it was based on a true serial killer oh he, he puts the hooks in the skin <laughs> yeah right <laughs> or else he gets the hose again <sighs> all right continue on thank you we'll pass on the electrical device you like, like this one. No. Picking your nose and eating it is proven to be good. Yeah, baby. Check in. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Not that I ever health did. benefits. Not that I ever did that. I, I never have, actually. Oh, my God. Really? No, I've picked my nose. I've never eaten it. Have you eaten it? By, cons- oh. by consuming the pathogens caught within the mucus, it could be a way to teach your immune system about what it's surrounded with. Oh, God. 
I don't just, read this around my son. Dude. Jake already does that. Well, yeah, he's a kid. Most kids yeah. do, but the, you, adults. You get, biochemistry professor Scott Knapper noted that snot has a sugary taste. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe a signal to the body consume it. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's certain things that, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I want to get into this this discussion about how people treat their own bodies and what they're okay with. It's like the same thing, like people smelling their own farts. It seems like if you smell, <laughs> hold on, it smells like, it, it seems like if you smell somebody else's fart, it's really awful, like god awful, like the worst thing you've ever smelled, right? Uh, but at the same time, when you pass wind, it's not that bad. I mean, it smells kind of, but the, I don't know. I almost at some point, I'm like, oh, that's a pretty good fart. I, it doesn't bother me as much as somebody else's fart. I don't know what it is. Like B.O. My own B.O., it still stinks, but it's not. It's acceptable. Somebody else's B.O., really? it's awful. Yes, dude. You've never I've had- heard, well, no, I've heard like your B.O. is like offensive to you and your your siblings. Like you basically get more offended by your own family's body odor than other people. Well, yeah, so you don't I just get them. offended by other yeah. people's in general. I don't want to smell anybody else's it's, body odor. They, they make it so. But it's genetic. You're like put off by your own mm. families, not your own, but but of your mm. own families because. Yeah, well, you share their genetics, so yeah, you have the you same don't body odor. Because you want to bang them. Mm-hmm. It, it's it's like a it's a defense. Yeah. Against yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, inbreeding. <laughs> All right, wasn't yeah. I'd, I just know that every guy has done this and went and sn- snipped his armpit to see if they're how bad it was, I'd and then go. My armpit. Well, let me finish, and then they go, and then they go. You know, and it's not that bad. It's not like you go throw up afterwards. But if somebody else took their armpit and put it in your face, I, I don't know. I'd probably vomit. I'd be like, oh my god, I want to smell nice. that. It's true, dude. It's I'm telling you. People don't want to admit it. That's one of those things that people don't want to admit. But I know that people, when they fart themselves, they're not really that offended by it. But when somebody else does it, like, oh my god, shoot me now. Uh, yeah, let's just be honest. Well, no, people. like I've be smelled, honest, people. You, you, everyone smells like their armpits to make sure that they need to shower. Right? Everyone's Dutch oven themselves. Um, that's what What's I'm that? saying. Yeah. Thank you. That's what I'm saying. What's and that? been okay with it. Been like, that's a pretty ripe fart that I just had. What's a Dutch oven? Uh, really? You don't know that? Good God! Did your mother keep you in a pen? What? I have no idea. Where were you? For the, while the rest of us were experiencing life. Well, what is it? Maybe I didn't. Jumping I just didn't call it a oh, name. You were jumping through hoops. What is it? It's when you fart and you pull the covers up over your head. Why would you do that for? Because it's fun. <laughs> you, guys you do it are to your so partner. Funny. <laughs> 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 Dude, her marriage must have been so boring. Oh, I know. It was so boring. No fun at all. No. What are you talking about? Or maybe she's done Habit all Ashery. these things and she just she only knows the English names for them. Like, <laughs> Why would no, I, that's, that's a Belgian crockery. <laughs> <laughs> Why would that have to do anything with marriage? Is that what you're supposed to do when you get couples, married? Couples, it's a joke that couples play on each other. Oh, that's funny. You're in bed and you fart and you yeah, you, you trap. You tra- hold on, let me finish. You trap your partner with the t- with the blanket and they can't get away. It's fun. It's funny. It must be an American. It's thing. like it's why my six year old farts on you guys or comes in here and farts and he thinks it's funny. He's done shoving you before. I've seen it. Uh, no, yeah, has me? Has I'm he? Just, I'm, uh, I'm hoping so. I, I, <laughs> right, now that I've said it, it'd be awesome if it was true. I don't know. <laughs> All right, moving on. Last one. An Irish bull is heading to the slaughterhouse because he's gay. What? Check in. Because he's gay? Yes. Uh So he can't breed. Well, apparently uh, he's been tested. Everything is normal. His name's Benji, by the way. Cute little Benji. (laughs) But the the farmer who owns him, who wishes not to be named. Benji the the bull. Yeah. At first, he didn't take it seriously that the bull could be gay. But after seeking advice, I know this can happen. Yeah, but what did he see? Did he see at something? Fir- well, at first he thought he was just a discreet chappy. That he was like what? getting his... Cause, well, he has like a bunch of cows that it's supposed to be getting pregnant by Benji, right? Right, right. And they weren't getting pregnant. Not at all. Yeah, so he's going through the test and he's like... See if he's sterile He's thinking whatever. maybe he's like, you know, he's hoping he's humping them at night or off in private and all, but no. Yeah, nothing. Apparently he found that Benji appeared to be interested in chasing around the other bulls instead. Did he actually see that? I... Don't I'm just going it's an Irish story. They're very much into like innuendo. <laughs> I don't know. I just I just think it's a big stretch from going, uh, you know what, my cows aren't uh pregnant. I think he's gay. Like you know, just he's gotta be gay. That's what it is. He's gay. I got a gay bull. Well, and now he's gonna die because of it. I mean, did you see him try to hump a boy bull? I don't know. That or maybe sucks. he's just that sucks. I yeah. thought farms For Benji. only had Does. one bull, and then they like traded bulls because a bull won't have sex with a cow once he's already had sex with that cow. So they let them bang all. How do you know that? But you don't know yeah. what a Dutch oven is. How because do you? I've never heard that before. That's it's teach. fascinating. Don't get me wrong, but how do you know that? Because you not, learned that at school, but you don't learn. Where do you learn? Yeah, horticultural school. Were you, school? Don't learn Were you in the 4-H <laughs> on top of all your circus crap and, and pageants? I might have 
read it in a book, but I never read about a Dutch oven in a book. Like, how am I going to read that? She can take, like, a drink of milk from a cow and tell you what he's been eating, like a Napoleon Dynamite. Oh, mm. I got into an onion patch. Well, I don't I don't understand you at all. You were so, quite the enigma, you are. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why that is. We need to keep a list of the subjects she does know about in case we need, you know? Oh, animal husbandry. <laughs> Tiffany, where you at? <laughs> <laughs> how often of a how awesome yeah. would a co- of a coffee yeah. book would that be? Like Bodily Tiffany's functions <laughs> that every human being does. Nope, that's not on the list. You can't ask <laughs> Tiffany. Know. Fart? <laughs> what? Yeah. What's a fart? I don't know what a fart is. But but obscure farm cow sex. Huh? Oh, <laughs> right on. I, yeah, it's amazing that you know that. I know that uh, it's even more amazing that somebody taught you that in public school. I have no idea why that would ever come up. Or where a teacher would yeah. say, you know what? Tomorrow on the on the lesson plan, we're going to talk about animal husbandry and how I that can, works. Maybe if you lived way out in the country or something, <laughs> maybe, maybe she it doesn't comes live up. out in the country. That's what I'm saying. Maybe we live in I Florida. Read it in a book or something. What book? Yeah. Though I read a lot. Benji goes a bumping. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway. <laughs> All right, that's check in. You're listening to Double Special. It is a Wednesday night. The phone number, as always, 727 475 6139. Big announcement. I'll throw this out real quick. On the 26th, we've got a great show lineup for you. On the phone, joining us will be Eddie Brill from New York City. Uh, that's yeah. still happening, right, Crystal? We're locked in for that? Yes. We're going to talk about all things. I don't know what he's going to allow us to talk about. I know a few things about Eddie Brill. It should be a good interview. And also in the studio that week, uh, just perchance sarah wilcox will be here sitting in with us we're very excited about that sarah wilcox everybody uh one of the Yay. original hooligans uh who was a fan of the troop became a member of the troop and now she lives in minnesota that's how yeah. it was a story of her life yeah <laughs> she's been, but she's been listening to the show and she, she likes it you know who mm-hmm. called me the other night actually marty hoffman called me last night whoa uh, yes he called me off the off the cuff off the show and wanted to let you guys know that the last couple of shows have been very funny he thought that the jewish ratio was very funny. Petricelli's contribution mm-hmm. to that show uh, made him almost crash his car and pee his pants at the same time, which uh-huh. is awesome. Uh, so, yeah. So, uh, Sarah Wilcox, member of the Hooligans, did our radio show with us and was very good on the on the radio show. We did terrestrial radio. Mm-hmm. And so she'll be in town from Minnesota with her mom. I don't know if her mom's going to be in the studio, but Sarah will join us and it'll be fun. Now, it makes me want to talk to you now, Tiffany, because we've joked in the past that, you know, because Sarah was the original female voice on our show. And was very good at what she did, I, I must say. Yeah. Nice I mean, fit for us. Yeah. Not quite as, like, crazy, but. Yeah. No, a little bit. She had her, uh, like. Uh, she was more like a Daria. <laughs> 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 she was. But, but she, there were, like, every couple of weeks, she'd have some sort of little drama going on. There was a lot going on in her life at the oh, time. And it came through on the radio a little bit, but it, she was brilliant. That hasn't changed. No, I, but I, I love her. I loved Sarah. Yeah. And so, but we've had Tiffany on the show, and we, you and I, started the show by ourselves. It was mm. really double special, and then we brought in Tiffany because we thought we needed a female voice, and I wanted somebody just to, to kind of mix it up between you and I a little bit, which you did wonderfully. And now your mom is a fan of the show, and she's nervous. Let's be honest. Yeah, she is nervous. She's worried that you guys are going to replace me. We're worried you're going to like run off Sarah. to with the Hollywood people. That's right. Now that you've like left one, yep. I can't. I don't know what I can talk about. I tag some stuff <laughs> on the YouTube thing. I don't know if I should, but can we talk about? Put no, a few did names. You tag on the thing. <laughs> don't put Orny's name. Why? Because he Googles himself. Good. Can we talk about him? Yeah, we can talk about it. All right, so that was the deal. (laughs) Tiffany had a relationship. I tagged it correctly. (laughs) 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 Tiffany had a a long-distance relationship for a number of years with a pretty well-known comic. I I call him a B-lister. I don't think he's A-lister. B-C-ish. Right, because he's never starred in comedy. He was in Seinfeld's movie Comedian, which is a documentary where Seinfeld basically trashed his old act and then uh, did a whole new act. And his feature in a lot of those sets was Orny... Orny, what is it? Orny, Orny Adams. Adams. And now he's on a uh, television program on a regular basis. Teen and Wolf. On Teen Wolf. Mm-hmm. And so you, now you guys are, that's it. <laughs> We're done with that. Yes. But your interaction with him and going out to L.A. and going around with him made us a little nervous. We didn't yeah, know we, we never out. knew what was going to happen. And, and I have always said to you, I'm not, look, I don't know where this show's going to go. I don't know where we're going to go. We've been doing it for a couple of years now. It's starting to go. But if you need. We're available, g- by the way. <laughs> 200000 a year. That's <laughs> all you need. You own Double Special. It's not a lot. Please. Uh, it's not we, a lot. We need somebody to do that. Just right. take a collection. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> we'll do the merchandising. We'll take care of it. But, <laughs> but now, you know, so I was always worried that, that, you know, that situation might draw you away. And I was okay with that. I'm like, if you want to go do something, you're not bound to this. Right. I know you love it and you love us, but you're not bound. Well, yeah, I remember because when you and I were going to a show at the St. Pete Coconuts, like Orny was texting me a lot Mm. and you and I kind of had a conversation about that situation. But uh, yeah, I went out with him for like, I don't know, like four years off and on a little bit. And uh, yeah, I visited with him. I mean, he's a nice guy and stuff, but you know, with the distance and uh, 
and things. Say it. Just <laughs> say it. He's got a weird attitude about the relationship. He's just an odd fellow. Ew. You can say and be nice. What, what is he going to do? Right, well, what is he going to blackball you in the small part of L.A. that he controls? I mean, what, come on. <laughs> I mean, he's nice, but yeah, like he would have to constantly be like, you're so amazing. So oh, you had to stroke his ego a lot oh and everything. God. What do you think the percentages of comics that you've met that are like that, that need yeah, that stroking? A lot. I mean, people do like to be like constantly, and that's fine, but like, you know, it's got to be kind of about the other person a little bit too. It can't just right. be completely. You need selfish. your ego stroked a little bit. Well, no, I don't need my ego stroked, but your hair. Would, you need your hair brushed. It would be like, hey, what's up? What's going on with you more? Would be nice. Oh. I got you. <laughs> so you what, what do you need, Tiffany? You know, kind of. <laughs> She's like, what have you well, done I mean, for me like, lately? He has been pretty good about that lately, but yeah. Like, not enough. Too little. Yeah. Too little. Too late. Mm, yeah. Or was that not what you really wanted? Him being a little better about it. Anyway, back to <laughs> back to why we brought it up because uh, look, I, Sarah it lives in Minnesota. I don't think she's leaving Minnesota, but she is coming in. I think mm-hmm. it'll be fun to have both of you in the studio so. at the same time. She's real cool. You'll like. We've her. known her since she was like sixteen. I know. A little scary. It's very That's odd. Creepy. Yeah. But at the same time, she, <laughs> but she's been well. No, but we didn't know her. Know her. They knew her better than I did. She came to our yeah. shows, uh, our I mean, improv yeah, that's shows. I mean, I mean, yeah, we. Know her yeah. <laughs> I didn't hang out with her yeah. when she was that young. All right, let me just reiterate. Hold on, I was a guy. Hold on. Yeah, we, we need to say this. Hold on. Let no, me just say this. In the in the troop, in, yeah. <laughs> in the troop, in the troop, there were guys that hung out with people after the show. I was not one of those guys. I was a little bit older, uh, and I didn't hang out a lot. We did guys. We, we, we talk a little after the show. I mean, once we we played her 18th birthday. Remember that? No. We, we went. Yeah, we went to the restaurant. And, oh, that's right. And did an improv show Iris's. for 18th birthday. Yeah, she yeah. was still just a fan at that point. She wasn't like really a part of our lives until like a little bit later right. on. Yeah. Yeah, she was yeah, she was yeah. legal when she became part of our lives. Why are you guys laughing? <laughs> I don't stop. Know Just stop. Are. So anyway, so yeah, she'll be in the studio. It'll be fun. We'll have a good time. Yeah, uh, you will. yeah. and don't <laughs> tell your mom tell your mom not to uh not to freak out. So all it's right. all good. Don't freak out, Mom. And tell your mom if she wants, if she's gonna freak out like that and be that committed to the show, just pick up a phone and call. Mm-hmm. Why why can't she call? I just want to talk Call to her for 10 mom. minutes. Yeah, Sarah Wilcox mom called in all the time when she was on the show, remember? And then she, you guys were and you guys were no. like, "Oh my gosh, I'm going to just have Sarah Wilcox here instead of Tiffany because at least her mom will call in." I think eventually we'll get your mom to call. So you went <laughs> to the movie set now in Dallas. I did. And yeah, how was it? Was it fun? It you had was a good time. Yeah, it really was fun. Like I brought my book and I thought I was going to be I thought I'd be able to read the whole thing, but I only read like 10 pages of it. Because mm-hmm. everyone was really nice. Like, I just thought that I was going to be, like, waiting. Like, I was going to just be, like, sitting there waiting for uh, Jason to get done with his stuff a lot. And it just, it turned out everyone was super nice on the set. And whenever he was filming, I'd be hanging out with the other actors. What did you and think actresses. of the uh, scenes? Did you watch any scenes being I filmed? I did. I watched a How few How was it? Scenes. Was it good? Were yeah. good actors? Yeah, everyone was really good. I mean, there's a few that were green, you know, because it was an independent film, and obviously they budgeted it, so they had to pay some people more than other people. <laughs> the $10 a day guys are yeah. not quite as good as you. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> you know, they had to pay, like, the people that were head of departments of different things. So, yeah, there were some actors where they're like, here, we have an extra, like, you know, a couple hundred bucks. But this is go. a real production. I mean, you got PAs running you around. Yeah, we did. All that <laughs> stuff. Oh, my God, this one PA. This is actually a pretty funny story. This girl's, like, 20. She's going to film school. She's a PA on the set and we needed like a ride home at like oh my gosh i mean these people film like vampires they would get there at 5 p.m and then stay until like 8 30 in the morning yeah, if I've not seen later. That a, lot about, yeah. a lot of films yeah they do that so but we were getting a ride because jason did most of his scenes before i had gotten there and so we got a ride back at like 3 30 in the morning and this girl uh was driving us and the gps told her they're like okay go ahead and take a left at the light you know and like three miles you can go left three miles you can go left she she ends up going right and she's like, why is this thing telling me to go into a parking lot? I went left. And we're like, you did not go left. You went right. Like, what's her? She, she says she gets lost all the time. It's because she doesn't know left from right. So every time the uh. GPS tells her to go right, she goes left. And then, like, she, ended she up, did it multiple times? Yeah, she ended up in, like, Waco, Texas once. <laughs> Holy crap. She, she ends up because she went to the totally opposite end of where she was supposed to go because she keeps doing the opposite. Why didn't you take the GPS? But listen, I'm going to help you out. I'm yeah. going to tell you when it's going to happen, and then you just watch my finger and go in that direction. We did we're like look, <laughs> after she messed up twice we're like here we'll just point and tell you which way to you go just put some goddamn stickers on her dashboard or something l and r it's not that hard <laughs> she doesn't it's, it's awesome. it was 
so funny. And then um, oh there was a lot of religious people on the set because it's Texas. So some of them. Wait, wait. What do you mean religious people? On, you mean working on the set? Yeah, yeah. Like really how Christian. Do you know th- how did you know they were religious? Because we were talking. They prayed together? No, no, no. Yeah. Like there was just some weird like conversations that happened. Oh they were talking God. about Walking Dead. And this one boy goes, um, oh, I've never seen that show. And they're like, you've never seen Walking Dead? He's like, no, I'm Christian. Right. It was just like some weird stuff like that would happen. I would have been like, is, does that would it automatically break <laughs> your cable? What does that mean? You're a Christian. I know. It your was... fingers burn if you switch it on the remote to that channel? I'm like, I... Does the show have a lot of banging on it? I've never watched it. <laughs> <laughs> they bang the zombies or something? No, I, what? I don't, I don't know. Yeah. Why can't Christians oh, why watch exactly. it? Exactly. That's what was so weird. Because but... it, it, it's a, the evil dead. They see that as a, a, a... Well, I mean, yeah. They see it as a zombie, a devil thing. Right. Like a devil, the devil brought them back. I thought it was a disease thing. It is, but they don't, they're not thinking that. They don't. They, even if you tell them that, they're like, no, it's a devil. Do they use magic or do they use guns? Well, no, guns. So how is it even... I agree. See, but they yeah. don't know because they've never even watched it. They're like, you know what? The word dead's in it. We're not watching it. They the love dead people. They didn't even give Every week they go into a church and there's a dead dude just nailed to the wall. <laughs> They come back. That's their whole thing. I know. Oh, I don't get it I at know. all. They sing to it and everything. Yeah. No, I, it's the same reason people with the pot thing. Everybody you talk to that's against it has never tried it, doesn't know anybody that smokes it, and they just they form their opinion. They got it in their head, and no matter what you tell them, they're like, no, I don't think so. There, there was really talented people on the set, though. Like, one girl was on The Bachelor, The Bachelor pad and all that crap her name was uh i don't i mean her name was michelle money is her name and she was on the, the stuff. bachelor pad but it's so funny because i was talking to her and yes. she's asking me about me and jason or whatever and then um how do you know this jason and then i you asked, know jason and i have known each other since since casablanca do <laughs> i you would know that? take him from you the rose is mine <laughs> <laughs> right well and then she's sitting there she's showing me like her boyfriend i'm like oh how did you guys meet and she's like, well, we're on this reality show thing. Like, and I'm like, oh. But you don't watch like, reality uh, yeah. shows. Yeah, I'm like, I have no idea. Like, I'm the only retarded person. You're like, Survivor? And Did you guys wor- meet on Survivor? Yeah, like, apparently, like, the whole world knows that her and her Not boyfriend, me. Cody, or something. I like, don't watch any of those shows. Show. Here, uh, here's the thing about those shows, what creeps me out about those shows. It, you're, there's one person dating, like, 15 people, and they're making out and kissing with all those people. That's what I said to her. And I'm like, ew. I got into this conversation with her. Oh, did you really? Oh, I totally did. Well, good for you. I was like. Good for you. I was like, I don't think I'd be able to do that show. I'm like, it would be weird with What'd all these she other say? girls. And she's like, yeah, you know, it's kind of hard and stuff. Yeah, it was, my mom was like, oh, she's really kind of, like, mean on the show. I'm like, well, she's a really sweet person in real life. I could, I mean. I'm yeah, like, I think people play it up for the cameras, but in the, but the reality is that you're still making out and going on dates yeah. with these guys and i'm not saying they're all sleeping but there's definitely kissing going on right i said i would not like that and she yeah. said it was hard but you have to just you know it's part how of do it. you feel connected like emotionally uh and spiritually to somebody and then two hours later going to date with somebody else that you feel emotionally and spiritually yeah, and then that, you know and then the next day you got two great more dates with two other girls uh-huh. I, yeah that's just weird to me yeah i mean no i wasn't paying attention if what I, if i could listen if i could disconnect myself uh, emotionally from it, it'd be awesome. It's every guy's dream, right? I got 15 girls. In the next two weeks, I'm going to have all these dates. I'm going to get hot tub parties. They're going to be drinking and breasts in my face, but I'm not mm. I'm not that guy. No, dude, seriously. I thought it was more like the harem thing where you just, you don't even have to. You just you just snap your finger and you summon them to you. No, no. They're set up dates. And the, I've seen like the like a couple of years ago, I watched like when they were first starting to come out. I don't watch them anymore, but it's basically uh, they are in a house and the girls are there and they're all p- kind of pining for their attention. So right. The whole thing yeah. is stupid. I wouldn't like it. But yeah, she I did like, like three different it's things. It's awful. She did the bachelor. <coughs> she did like a bunch. She did yeah. three different things. It was like 34 guys she's cycled through. Yeah. Whoa. I was. I said to her, I said, when she said, oh, I met him through a reality show, I'm like, is that a good way to meet somebody? <laughs> That's what I said. That was my next thing. She's like, I guess it's worked for us. Yeah, that, that can't be as good as eHarmony, really. Like, I mean, God, they've only been together for like four months, right? Well, if you want to put the kibosh, you should just have her watch the flavor of love or whatever the hell. Remember when the flavor Flav had his one and he was kissing girls with that uh, mug that he's got and the girls were all like trashy. It was no, uh, it I was, was I was better than watching dude. It that was show. a train wreck. I'm too good for that. I know you are, dude. Yeah, I don't. I I don't. So know. is Tiffany. Yeah. <laughs> well, listen, I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah. you're the only listen. one amongst us who like con- condescends well, to I watching such flop. I'm glad that uh, you guys. Yeah. Uh, I'm glad that you he had a good time him. in Dallas. Uh, and uh, last week we had Almighty in the studio. I'm a little disappointed. That was terrible. No, I thought it went okay, <laughs> and I thought he did okay. 
Uh, but I'm disappointed, and I don't know if he'll listen to this or not, but immediately he talked about some comics that we talked about that had problems with them. They immediately put their names on Facebook. So that's number one. That kind of pisses me off. <laughs> and the second one is is that most people that come on this show, uh, that come in the studio and hang out with us, you, like the next day or a day after, or even a week after, say, hey, listen, I had a great time. Wardsmith right. hit me like three times. Oh, it was great mm-hmm. fun. Thank you so much. Yada, yada, yada. I got nothing from him. Nothing mm-hmm. from all whiny. No, I don't even know if he said anything here. I'm not sure because I had a couple drinks. I'm not sure if he said something, but I don't recall it. Like, it didn't stand out in my mind. No. Did he say anything to you? No. I avoided him. Like, I ran away <laughs> as soon as we I could. Listen, I don't think he did that bad. Uh, Marty listened to the show, and he thought that Almighty put his foot in his mouth quite a few times. I don't know if... I'll have to go back and listen to it, but I thought he did okay. He for- showed up like an hour and a half early. <laughs> oh. Yeah, he did. See? Yeah. I don't know. Like they I had to find a place. I'm I like, wasn't really? here, but he seems like I know because I'm kind of socially awkward. Like maybe mm-hmm. he just forgot to say thank you. Like maybe he. Like, yeah. I just feel like sometimes people don't know right. rules. Maybe he did not know that rule. I, I'm 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 willing to go that route with you, Tiffany. Uh, to the other accord, though, the other thing, I'm upset that he totally went on Facebook and was like, "Oh, I heard some stuff last week," and just immediately started trying to stir the pot. On Facebook, like an idiot. Like you don't do that. Like, like if I have a discussion with you and tell you, yes, well, you sorry. tried to give him an intervention. You tried to say, I "Hey, did. this is the problem that people are having with you." And right. instead, he went back and immediately started did those yeah, things. Did that the he exact knows. same thing. It's unbelievable, dude. He's a. T- I told you, is it not going to work? He's <laughs> a terrible human being. I don't think he's a terrible human. Being. I just don't think he's too bright with stuff like that. Okay. Like she said, and he's terrible. Well, I'm not arguing with you. I'm just terrible. adding on to your description. Okay, but he's not. I'm he's being not, a little more accurate. Okay, when you say terrible, you think that like he's kicking dogs and pooping in people's yards. It's not. It's, it's not terrible. He's just. Uh, um, he doesn't know how to relate to, to I, I people. I didn't specify what kind of terrible. He's he relates to the oh, 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 those guys. That, that, those are the guys that he connects with. He doesn't connect with our breed. I don't know. I, I, I'm just saying. I appreciate him coming on the show, but damn, JT, <laughs> use your head and don't put crap online. And if you uh, listen to us on Gear Radio right yeah, now. <laughs> yeah, he does the rebroadcast. And I told him, listen, I, I'm so glad that you do that for us. I appreciate it. But, you know, don't be such an idiot and so reactionary. He's very reactionary. Yeah, he's just. Uh, he's an emotional bundle, the kid. <laughs> <clears throat> anyway, so, yeah, no thanks from that. So maybe he'll call and maybe he won't. Uh,. Let's talk about this Doritos thing, because Doritos thing, because it was in the news. Have you heard? You know, you know what I'm talking about, Tiffany. Doritos, Doritos, Just Doritos. From what you wrote there. Have you heard of this? Uh, no, I don't think I like it. Read into the I microphone. Like what does it say up there? It says uh, Doritos. No, come on, say it. Do re re. Do itos. No, there's an R in there's there. There's an R in there. It's just kind written of horribly. It looks kind of like a Y. Oh, Doritos. Yes. Okay. Yep. Question mark. Yes. Mountain Dew. Into the microphone. Mountain Dew plus Doritos. At okay. the same, I don't like it. What do you mean, like Oreos and milk? <laughs> Goes no. a little bit beyond that. It's soda, Mountain Dew, mm-hmm. which I love. I like Mountain I Dew. I like Mountain it's Dew. It's evil. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's very good. And I like Doritos, but not together. Yes, they put Dorito flavoring, nacho flavoring mm-hmm. in the into the Mountain Dew. Look, there it is right there. Almost looks like a, it's a Gatorade, Ma- but it's not. Dorito flavored Mountain Dew is yeah. what we're getting at. Ugh. I can't. Why are we doing I, this? I don't know. Why, like, remember when we started hearing about all the fair foods that got, like, out of control, like deep fried butter? Yeah. yeah. And what was the other one? The bacon something. What the hell was it? I Just some obnoxious thing. Candied bacon? I don't know what the Chocolate hell it is. Chocolate Candy bacon, bacon sounds awesome. That, that actually doesn't sound bad, but yeah. just deep fried stuff that you wouldn't want to deep fry. Well, to be fair, there is that Jones soda every like Thanksgiving. They release like a four pack of disgusting flavored soda. Okay, but that's a novelty thing. Well, I think that's maybe what they're going for. We're, I don't know. That's a hell of a line to throw do out you, there. Do you think people do it while they suspend themselves? <laughs> No, the same not. people, no. when they get done, they're like, I need some Doritos. No, you know why? Because they're focusing on the pain, Tiffany. They mm-hmm. don't have time for Doritos. Uh, but this has been a thing. And uh, also, like, uh, not in, like, combinations of flavors, but, like, I know Hardee's has been up in the bar with, like, just god-awful sandwiches. With, uh, and they sound wonderful, but way too many calories, too many patties, yada, yada, yada. Now we're just taking flavors that should not go together and slamming them together. Well, you know, maybe we don't know. I don't think we so. Haven't, yeah, it's probably going to be awful. But You like Doritos, right? Nacho flavored Doritos? Yeah, they're Doritos. Mountain Dew. Uh, Mountain Dew, it's a little too sweet for me, but yeah. It's yeah. Well, maybe this will make it less sweet. I uh, know. Probably. Well, here's the thing. I know that I have some time in my life that you I like can recall. Salty, sweet. I do. But I know at some point in my life I've had Doritos and then taken a Mountain Dew to wash them down with. 
So I know I've done that, but I don't know if it, when I did, I went, oh, what, what was that? <laughs> oh, that was awesome. It's magic in my mouth. There is, an, there, is a, there is an instance where I did combine two things together, and I had that moment. And that is, I was at the movie movies, watching the movies, and I had a tub of hot butter uh, popcorn, and I had plain M&Ms in my hand. And I put the M&Ms in my mouth, and then I threw some popcorn in there, and that was... Heaven. You, you were probably the first person who ever did that. I'm not saying I You're am. a genius. I'm not saying. Well, Chris whatever. Gorgeous, ladies and gentlemen, give him the Nobel Prize right now. Shut the hell up. He, he's ke- keeping it a secret for so long. Yeah. I n- I'm not saying that I invented something. I'm just saying I had that moment when I put it in my mouth and I was like, oh my God. Mm. If they could make like M&M flavored hot butter popcorn, that would I would buy cases of that. It's amazing. I, I don't I didn't have that moment with the Mountain Dew and the nachos. How mom. would you How would you buy a case of hot buttered popcorn? Because it would be, dude. You can buy tubs of pop, uh, uh, not popcorn hot chocolate. No, well, okay. Well, <laughs> my my mom likes to put chocolate in with her popcorn. Yeah, too. I think I'm. I think a lot more people do it than you. But think. I like Parmesan cheese in my popcorn. See, that's no. Yeah, it's delicious. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, Parmesan cheese goes on popcorn. I, what other flavors? Because I know Doritos has been matching up their flavors, right? They've been doing like two and three flavors. Well, they did a Mountain Dew flavored Dorito a few years back. Did they? Yeah. I totally missed that. It was apparently they did like some secret guess what the flavor is contest, yeah. and apparently it was Mountain Dew. I never tried it. But uh, yeah. I can't do it. England has gross Doritos. How are their Doritos They have like gross? steak and pepper, chicken and salsa, and it's like, Ew. I think steak and pepper. On Doritos really or just chips? No, Doritos. The yeah. brand Doritos. Oh, they're. Yeah, yeah, the brand Doritos. And then they have, like, crisp. They're crisp, which are chips, mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. we call them, they call them crisp. They have, like, prawn-flavored and stuff, like prawn I, I'd be okay with that. Yeah, that's what's actually yeah. pretty good. But yeah, it's, it's like a stuff. pork rind sort of a thing. But they yeah. always like to put, like, meat-flavored stuff. It's weird. Yeah, they like their meat over there. Yep. Yeah. They de- I like my meat, too. I'm sorry. I, I pr- should probably stop. You my like colon probably like too? I like meat, man. I'm Americans, we like sauce-flavored like things. R- yeah, I, I think you're right. Yeah. Anything with a nice barbecue sauce. Bar- cheese ranch. sauce, yeah, cheese sauce. Dressing, that's yeah. funny. We like dressings, yeah. Anyway, I don't know how if that's going to fly. I don't know if it's actually going to happen. I, I imagine, here's what I'll say. If it does come out, what we will do is we'll get a couple bottles, we'll bring them on the show, and we'll try it and see. No, thank you. Why? You can't take one sip and just try it. Mm. What's the worst I that could happen? I just thought when you said this, I was like, well, that won't affect my life. <laughs> <laughs> and somehow, <laughs> and somehow. Wow, so even you can't get her to do a food challenge uh, anymore, I'll right? do it if Chris tells me to. I'm not telling uh-huh. you to. I'm suggesting that we do it because if it, if it actually comes to fruition and they make the flavor, we should try it. He's right. Because here's the argument that we had before. I, I immediately said no, and Jordan goes, well, you got to try it. And I'm like, no, no, no I don't want to be one well, of those of people. Course. Well, you have to, though. You have to try it. Just to say you tried it. Of I don't No, it it's like, I don't think it'll taste good at all. I think it'll be awful, but it's like at the same time. It's like, it's there. It's available. Yeah. I must know how horrible it really is. See, or not. It could yeah. be very pleasant. It's not going to lead to See, like hanging hooks through your skin because I already know how horrible that will be. <laughs> you know? I'm scared of needles, for God's sake. So I, I can't do that. But I, I yeah, I got to try it. Uh, it's like when you pass the, the soda machine in like the Asian grocery store. And you see, ne- this never happened to they me. They have a, they have the weirdest drinks. Uh, but see, I've never been in an Asian grocery store. Why not? I there's none around me. I yeah, don't there's know. plenty down there. Where? No, downtown where you live. Not Pinellas where I live. Park. Why would I go all the way to Pinellas Park to go to, to, go to the Asian, Asian grocery? Why? What if I ever bought it? Why would I? Because they buy got it? the weird sodas. Okay, it's okay. a it's a robberist, dude. It's a circle. It just goes around. Okay. Okay. there's a reason. No, okay. No, see, this is how you and I Cheap are rice. completely different, Jordan. <laughs> this is how you and I. I think. I never have to. That's one thing I never have to do is try those do Dorito, Doritos. <laughs> I never have to like. If there's something I don't mm-hmm. new, I don't need to try it. I don't care. Yeah, you're unless you're, it's something that really piqued my interest. You're but naturally a conservative. You, you, the the novelty wise. part of your brain has been turned off. It's for, so true. Yeah, no Dutch yeah. ovens, really. For food, no. I mean, I'll do that. I just didn't know what it was. But you know, like, you're very afraid of doing anything new. I just why do I need to eat more food? We have. I know I've tasted fruit. I've tasted everything that's natural. Why add extra? How have you tasted? Everything? We have that's not. Natural. No way. Well, like I've had bananas. I've had apples. Oh I've well, bananas that covers saying, the entire yeah, planet. That's I've, I've tasted I mean, everything. I've tasted a fruit once. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> no need to try any other fruit. They're all the same. Well, yeah. Doritos is just some kind of processed thing that's not even healthy. So why do I want to try something? That's We're not, not asking even you healthy. to gorge yourself on it. We're just asking you to taste it. It's a taste. I know. And have I you will not taste heard it. the old saying, Ac- "Apples and oranges"? That means there's two kinds of fruit: apples, oranges, and, I've and also bananas. That. And I've tasted all three. That's it. I know, and I've. Taste that I don't need to try new foods. Yes, you do. Why not? Why? That is so limiting. We talked about this before. Mm-hmm. Listen, since you've met me, you've listened to a lot of new music, right? Right. And yeah. it's been good, and I right? I enjoy that, but, but it's been different. good, though, right? 
Yeah. We the introduced s- you to South Park recently. You've literally never watched that. Now you've watched how many yeah, seasons of it? it? But here's the thing, though. Food could be the same thing for mm-hmm. you. Why? For for It has been. I've tasted things. I'm like, this yeah. is actually really good. But I'm not a food person. Can't you see? Oh, for God's uh-huh. sakes. Yes, you are. You eat food. You come uh, yeah. over and eat food all the time. Well, the tried and true. And sometimes there's, there's well, food the and there's just now. flavor. I tried the pretzels with the peanut butter. See, that was new. Yeah, but I knew that would be all right. But it's something where I'm like, I don't think that's going to taste good. I just don't try it. Oh, Why right. do I need to add it? But that's that. Now you're definitely going to do it. It's a lose. Now you're definitely it's doing it. It's a lose, it. lose. So let's no. say there's something I don't want to try. It's right? a lose for you. It's and a then, win for me. And then I try it, and then I like it, and then I have to have it now, and I know about it. I know it exists. I've tried it. When but Doritos come out, you are having some Doritos. <laughs> We're doing the Doritos now. Oh my God! Is it gonna be diet Doritos? I'll buy a diet can. Why is it have to be well, diet? No, no, Why really? No, artificial no, listen, sweetener that'll give you cancer. Listen, <laughs> I grew up on diet drinks because my mom and grandma have it. So Jump whenever right I try that, regular soda, Re- what kind of soda? Regular soda. What kind of soda? Regular. Regular. <laughs> it doesn't taste. It doesn't taste right to me. It tastes funny. <laughs> All right. When it, when it comes out, we're going to do it. I think we need to do it. Okay. Let's move on. All right. You're listening to Double Special. The phone number, as always, 727-475-6139. Uh, it's our regular number. It's <laughs> Wait. Regular. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Uh, if you want to come out and see some live comedy, I will be at Bonkers Comedy Club. That's Friday night. I'll be headlining there. It's a high-octane saloon. Uh, in Homosassa. You can check it out on Bonkers' website. And then Sunday night, I'll be at Side Splitters doing the Sweet 16 version, part of the uh, Laughing Skull Comedy Festival as I try to m- make some money and get some regular gigs there in this club that I've avoided forever. Uh, on the phone, we'll go ahead and take this call. All right, ladies and gentlemen, calling in from the beautiful state of Texas, it's our regular Texas comedy <laughs> correspondent, <laughs> Marty Hoffman, Big Chief. <laughs> What's State up? your name and purpose. <laughs> I just wanted to tell you how good these uh, burritos are, Have you, and they're are, healthy. Well, ha- uh, the burritos are uh, boogers and Doritos matched together, so they're healthy for you uh. mm-hmm. and uh, and delicious. Uh, uh. I had discovered the flavor uh, years ago when I was um, picking my nose and eating Doritos, <laughs> and... Um, <laughs> <laughs> and I I loved them ever since. It's it's a slight um, subtle sugary taste, doesn't it? It's like salted caramel all of a sudden. I don't know if I would call it sugary, but it it's good. It's it's it, 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 it's delicious, and it's you know there's a reason kids like it. You know it's good for you. So it's you, good for you. Have you helped your I've son? I've often wondered how I've often wondered how good eating your own boogers was for you, mm-hmm. as I was eating my own boogers. I would wonder, you know, I bet this is good for me. You never stopped to and think maybe now you should. I've been proven. Huh? I said you never stopped to maybe think that like, you should research it and find out before you continue to eat your own boogers. Well, you know what? It helps in an, in another way. Um, all my life, I've been just too cute. <laughs> too cute. And I find, I find that when I pick my nose, that keeps the girls from bothering me so much. <laughs> so like, you just pick your nose and eat it. And then, you know, they don't, you know. And you've got Dorito breath, so they don't, you know. You're a hot mess, dude. It works out. It works out. <laughs> now, I was watching that video of you. It, it was 10 hours of Marty Hoffman picking his nose in, in College Station, Texas, and how the women reacted to you and catcalled and such. And, and did, did, how, Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, well, did you notice how it slowed down a little bit? Because I was just walking through, you know, College Station, and mm-hmm. mostly it's, you know, like uh, – sorority girls and everything, you know, cat calling and whatever, and you know, and grabbing on my ass and stuff. But <laughs> as soon as I started picking my nose and eating it as I was walking down the street, <laughs> it slowed down a little bit. It's... I mean, there were still some. There were still some. Well, there's it slowed yeah. down a little bit. There's some girls that uh, they lower their standards just a bit for you. Yeah. So, but you know, that's. It's, it's worked for me, and uh, I can't wait to see Tiffany try it. Yeah, I think the I might. Burritos. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, well, hold on for a and second. You can Mark. eat your own boogers. You don't have to eat my boogers. You <laughs> don't, I mean, I know mine are good, but you can eat your own. You can eat your own. All right. Marty, as always, a pleasure to hear from you. Is there? Do you know who this is on the other line? I believe I, I have a guess who it is, but caller from the 613, state your name and purpose. Brady. It's Brady. Oh, Brady. Hey, I thought it was Brady Sarah. calling from Canada. Let me. Oh, l- oh now here's an expert on booger eating. 
<laughs> there you go. There you go. Yo, I, 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 I had some crazy things happen to me this this past week, week and a half. Oh, really? Um, I don't know if you... Yeah, yeah, on Twitter. Uh, I don't know if you follow me on Twitter, like if you follow what's going on. But, no. uh, uh Do you know Mayhem Miller? He's a fighter that, that fights... He used to fight in the UFC, and he kind of went crazy. He lives in California now. Marty does. Yeah, uh, Marty, you know who that is? Yeah, I, I totally TV. know who... Uh, Jason Mayhem Miller is, yes. He had a, a show called uh, Bully Beatdown. Uh, Bully Beatdown, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I, I've been <sighs> friends with him on Facebook. I made a, I made a painting of him uh, a little while. I made a painting of everyone, actually. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I've seen that. You did Nicholson. Oh, you did a bunch Doesn't of, that make you feel like, cheap, Chris and Jordan and Tiffany? No, you Jordan have to be friends Tiffany. with me. I made a painting of you. <laughs> but, yeah, no, I made a painting of him a long time ago. I just I just liked his style, you know, Bully Beatdown. And, uh uh, I started following him. Anyway, we started interacting and stuff, and and then I noticed he kind of went a little loony on 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 Twitter, and uh, and I was tweeting him one day, and then suddenly he 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 just went off on this rant about how he's in a standoff with the uh, the LAPD, and I'm like, yo, don't let them take you alive. But then I find out he's live on TV, and it's live on LA TV. <laughs> so I'm tweeting this guy live on TV, and he's in a standoff. The, the cops are outside. The SWAT team went in and ended up taking him out. <laughs> and I didn't hear from him for like a week. <laughs> it was crazy, man. Yeah, so, so, yeah. You're, so, the, so he wasn't... So it was real. What was he uh, in a standoff over? Was it like domestic violence? He, 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 they had a warrant out for his arrest, apparently, and then he started tweeting. So he was in a live tweeting standoff <laughs> on Twitter for like four or five hours. And, 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 but I didn't know it was real, so I was saying ridiculous shit like, you know, <laughs> don't let them take you alive. <laughs> take out as many of them as you can. But meanwhile, <laughs> this is real. It's a real sign. I'm like, oh shit! I take it all back. They're he, gonna come for me, man. He's in his. He's I'm Canadian, you know. He, I'm he, he's in his. Yeah, uh, he's hey, in Chris, his. By the way, I saw you with a helmet on in your in your uh, on your Facebook, and you look as ridiculous as I do. A helmet? You get a small head like me, a little <laughs> pea head. Thank and you. And when you put a helmet on, it's like. Thank you for that. Gargantuan. I look like one of those guys. I know. I, I remind myself when I, when I used to wear that helmet. I'd remind myself of one of those guys in the fifties smoking a cigarette in a foxhole, going, "How you doing, Mac?" You know, and, th and that's exactly what I thought about. When I talked Listen, about. I was, I was hardcore, bad to the bone. Don't let that helmet no fool doubt, you. Eh? No doubt. So, um, so yeah, yeah, crazy, crazy stuff. Now, now we we started this fund for him because what happened? Uh, uh, with this with standoff, right at the end of the standoff, his, uh, I actually made a, I made a song out of it. And, uh, what? Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I like making songs about things, as you guys know. <laughs> but yeah, I made a song. About it. <laughs> well, we're trying to raise money for him to get his dog out of the pound because the poor bastard. They they broke into his house. They blew up everything. They busted at his windows and. Uh, <laughs> Uh, and then his dog, you see, his, he's got a little wiener dog. And, and uh, <laughs> if, if you follow MMA or, or Mayhem Miller or whatever, he, he's, like, attached to that dog like a little baby. Hold on, know, hold on, Brady. Marty, do you know of the wiener dog? What's that? I, I was uh, asking I was, Marty. I didn't know about the wiener dog. I did not know about the wiener dog. You yeah, don't. So, like I said, I've only seen him on TV. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. He's got a little wiener dog named Gator, and uh, um, uh, his little dog followed them out. Like, he, they took him out in handcuffs or whatever, and, and he went out peacefully, like, after about eight hours of not answering the door and, and tweeting me. <laughs> but, uh, but, yeah, they, they, they let him out in handcuffs or whatever, and his poor little dog went out, and, and they put him in the pound while he was in jail. Aww. And they, they adopted the pet out, his pet out. Wow. So we... we yeah, yeah. So we we put up a GoFundMe for him or whatever. We got two grand already for him to get his dog out. What the hell? <laughs> I know. So now everybody's hating on this guy. He's like, "Why you don't need money? You made six million dollars a year." Blah blah blah. Well, I well whatever. I agree, Brady. I yeah. agree with them. Put me in the hater column. Yeah, I know you do. I know you do. <laughs> but I I just like to be a part of something, even if it's wrong. Even, if it's, <laughs> even if it's even if it's something right. that you initiated <laughs> and oh. chided. The young Say I was there, you. I did that, you know. Holy Christ. But no, I, you know what? I, I, I've been following this guy for uh, for a few years now. 
And I'm, I, I love MMA, like, because like, I can't fight worse of shit. I mean, I, I, I can't fight my way out of the paper. So you're living game, vicariously uh, I, through the guys you watch in the uh, octagon? Absolutely. Like, 100%. I'm like, yo, I could. <laughs> that's why, yeah, exactly. listen, that's, that's I, why. I'm them when I'm watching them. Hold on, Brady. I mean? Take a breath. Take but, a breath, uh, Brady. Hold on. Take geez. a breath. Now, Marty, that's why <laughs> you watch <laughs> the octagon stuff, too, right? It's been a while. Eh? No, not you. Marty, damn it. Stop, stop Stop talking for a second. Let Marty. Marty, are you still there? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Marty's. Oh, sorry, Marty's on the line too. Marty, I apologize. You did bro. like a line of. No, oh, no, no. We're gonna settle this in the ring. We'll settle this in the octagon. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, they, you know, they call me Featherfoot Ferguson, actually. So Featherfoot Ferguson. <laughs> but so so, so. What was he saying? Yeah. Go ahead, Marty. <clears throat> No, no, I, was, I thought you had a question or something. You just asked I had a question, and I just said that you watch the MMA. I, I know that none of us really watch MMA stuff. I wouldn't know. Oh, okay, well, yeah. uh, I've been following it, and, and, I, and I, I'm big on, uh, um, see, they, 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 the, the, uh, the UFC, uh, they, they have a lot of problems with, with uh, people that, you know, they're, they're past the age of fighting or whatever, and they, they, they're dealing with brain injury and stuff like that, and it, mm. it's causing a lot of problems, like stupid behavior and and whatever. And so I hold on, Brady. Is what you're saying is that the whole reason you think this whole thing happened with Mad Dog, whatever, what's his name again? Mad Dog something. Mad Dog yeah, McCree. I think he's it's a light gun him. game. Really? Did his tweet yeah, seem? Yeah, I, hold on, hold on. Did his? That. Did his? Hold on. I did it? Believe that. Hold on for a second. Did, did, his, did his tweets sound punch drunk to you? Oh yeah, because he was he, he became the U U Tang Clan for the a while, and he was he was he was quoting the U or, or the Wu Tang Clan. <laughs> he, he, so he was talking all black and yo, and he, you know what I mean. And, I uh, don't know about yeah, these rappers, he, he, but. Yeah. Yeah, you know, if you uh, put all four of us together, we actually know the things we're talking about. I know, but I mean, I just think it's funny. It's like it, his only <laughs> reference is the Wu Tang Clan to him. The Wu Tang, the Wu Tang Clan. The, the Wu Tang Clan. Anyway, it's a rap group from like way back. I know who the hell they are. Jeez, we've seen them live. Yeah, <laughs> we'd rather go see. Yeah, we'd rather see Wu Tang than. <laughs> All right, Brady. Okay, so, but yeah, I, I truly, but like, it just nothing makes sense, eh? Like, well, nothing. He, like, nothing makes sense. Okay. Well, nothing are you still? Nothing makes sense, and then when you try and talk to him like reasonably, oh. and, like he was. Hang on, Brady. Hang on. Like, Hang on, on Brady. Damn it, Brady! Stop talking for a second. <laughs> Take a swig of your Molson, for God's sake. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let Let Marty get it. I know Marty wants to say something. Hold on, Brady. Marty's a fan yeah. of the men in the underwear genre too. <laughs> yes, I love the underwear jousting. Now, um, <laughs> so you underwear think it's jousting, all punch yeah. truck? Yeah, that sounds like UFC. Anyway, um, you think it's all from punch truck? You don't think it has anything to do with the mindset you have to have to get in a ring and fight another human being? No, no, I no because it, it's I mean, there's no, the that, people that, that, that go into that are. Maybe the punch drunk I hold on. Can't hold on, guys. Wait a second. Let me let me help you guys out. I'm gonna t I'm gonna describe this thing we call the conversation. Here's what happens. Marty oh says God. something, <laughs> and then right after Marty says it, there's a pause. And then Brady, you go. And Marty, when Brady starts talking, don't talk over him. Don't keep talking. Right. Let him respond. Right. Damn it. All right. Here we go. Try it again. I, I can't hear very well on the phone, so I, like I I barely hear him. When he well, you're punch me. drunk, Mark. That's what's happening, Brett Brady. You're punch feather drunk. foot. Featherfoot. I know. <laughs> Featherfoot Ferguson. <laughs> <laughs> that has so, got to be the. Um, he's the gayest well, MMA well, fighter. Chris, yes. Sorry. Go ahead. Chris, if you could, if you were, if I was there, and you could put your hand on my shoulder like you do with Tiffany, then I would know not to talk over him. <laughs> just use your there ears. You just use the ears. That's all. No, you just got to give him direction. <laughs> yeah. You're going to be like a so, salmon gate from now on. You say Marty, and then you say Brady, and you let them each get a turn. <laughs> You're in charge of this now, Chris. You're driving. I hope you know your left from your right. I'm knocking up in Waco. <laughs> 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 All right, guys. Well, listen. Uh, yeah, no, I believe this guy is. Uh, am I waiting for Marty again? Or no, no, I, no, no. Go ahead, Brady. Go ahead. 
Told you. you no, know, I believe this guy's like, he's lost. You know what I mean? Like, he, he didn't know anything but fighting. And then, uh, you know, uh, he, he, he didn't. He went, he didn't evolve, I guess, as a fighter. He wasn't that great. Yeah. And um, and his, his, his antics kind of got the best of him, and they, they kind of ousted him or whatever. But and I don't know. For some reason, I got a soft spot for that guy. And, uh, uh, you know, maybe I'm foolish. Oh. Uh, but we raised two grand I like for the him. guy as well. <laughs> All right. No, Marty, you hold on. <laughs> hold on, Marty. Okay, now, right, Marty. Brady, that was a cogent and almost sober point. <laughs> Marty, you go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No, I, I actually agree with Brady that I uh, I like the guy as well. Uh, you still got the gate. Some... Uh, you, uh, oh, yeah. now his phone screws up. Jesus Christ! Uh, Earth crazy kind of guy. Yeah. So this guy uh, uh, last week uh, when Tiffany was gone, uh, nothing. I got he nothing. He said some guy showed up like an hour and a half early, and he didn't know anybody at, uh, when he showed up. No, no. We've known this guy. He was going to be a guest on the show. He just showed up really early to be a guest on the show. Usually, the guests come in about when we're starting the show, and then they get lined up and we have him come in. But he showed up. Ex- so you had to pretend like you know. Like carry on conversations. And yeah, stuff and, yeah. But and I'm pretty awkward. I'm good at that. I'm doing it right now. I'm good at it. Yeah, I know you are. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's your job, man. <laughs> Holy shit. No, but, but no, I, see, no, I was just laughing because I, I I saw that Jordan was like, yeah, he showed up an hour and a half early. Like, yeah. I had to fucking talk to this guy for an hour and a half. He did exactly. No, no didn't. I didn't. No, I didn't. avoided. But that meant I had to like run around and hide away from him. I had oh, to go. T- I had to go talk to the damn six-year-old for a lot of time. <laughs> I do that, eh? and, and then and then what ends up happening? Guys like that that show up early, they 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 start asking rhetorical questions like, "Is that your cup?" And you'll be drinking out of it. Yeah, that's my cup in my hand. You know, hey, is that your picture on the wall? Uh. Hey, is that a phone? Yeah. No, but that <laughs> this phone. this guy is not a normal <laughs> human being. Hold on. He, he's not Hold a normal on. human being. He does not take interest in other people. He he only talked about himself. It's true. He was basically doing his almighty Whitey show for an hour and a half. No, before he tried. Even, he he uh, tried. It was but all, I, yeah, I did not allow it to happen. Bragging about prank calls he made that were terrible and dated in the 70s. <laughs> you know? Hey, I know you guys are into e cigarettes. Yes. Uh, you know what? Uh, I've got uh, smokes, eh? Uh, off those fucking e cigarettes. Sorry. I, I, you got I what? For this you got what on this? I got off smokes off, off those things. Yeah. And, and I'll tell you what. The media has been bombarding the internet with junk science trying to, trying to you know, bastardize these things that, that are basically a freaking wonder drug for anyone that's tried to get off smoking that can't quit. Yeah. I've got. I, I, I'm addicted to buying the, the vaporizers now. Um, because I, I save so much money, I was smoking two and a half packs a day. So I like damn I mean, dude. That's a mortgage, right? I don't understand. I, I, listen, I don't understand how anybody can find the time to smoke two and a half packs of cigarettes a day. I'm retired. I'm yeah, but retired. Why not, you don't have. I, I, I was forced into retirement from the military. But you don't. So there's I, not a. I, I'm home all day, bro. You can't drink. You, know, you can't have, have a glass of water every now and again. You can do um, both. I, I smoke. I was smoking during workouts for fuck's sake. <laughs> it was like I'm on the treadmill. I got a butt. I come in smelling like cigarettes because I take smoke breaks halfway through my workout. No, and if you don't believe Brady, if you, you know, if you don't believe Brady, you can check out Snapchat or Snap. Sh- sh- what's the song thing he does? A sna- snap, uh, snip, snap, or what, what's it called? I uh, don't. Uh, sing, snarp, sing. <laughs> No, Sing Snap. Is it called Sing Snap that you're Sing on? Where you, snap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. A- a- every time you do a song, you get the beat going, you reach down, you grab that e cigarette, pat, 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 you get a couple of yes, hits. Uh, I'll tell you what, that, that became an addiction for me, I swear <laughs> to God, because like, uh, I, I became obsessed with recording. <laughs> so <laughs> and, funny, dude. And, but, and the thing was, was I, I would have to be singing with a cigarette. I don't know why. I'd have to <laughs> sing with a cigarette. Here I am in my garage alone, and I'd, I'd have to have a smoke in my hand. Retarded, I know. But Marty, Marty, oh, you've but anyway, the e-cigarettes. Yes. Dude, I, I have, I have like <laughs> seven of them now, and I see yeah. that every time I, I can't tuned into a podcast, you got a new one, and I see someone's got one of the big ass ones that uh, Jordan's that got his like big a, things. I got one of the uh, yes, yeah, and you know what? They, you get such a good draw off those. It's oh yeah, just like a, it's like a smoke. Have you learned to wrap your own coils yet? No, no, you, no. I, I'm basically trying to hook up a car battery to mine, so that's <laughs> a really good draw. But you God, sound like such a garage, junkie right now. It Jesus, ain't working too well. Marty, it ain't working. Marty, are you hearing this? He doesn't he sound like a junkie right now. I'm, 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 I'm picturing him like you know, like a lot of people smoke after sex. I'm picturing him smoking during sex when he had cigarettes. 
just like on yeah, top of yeah, yeah, a cigarette, just like blowing that. smoke right in her face. Yeah, he's I got. Know, yeah, this is, no, this I is mean, good. I was good. So bad. <laughs> he's like the lady in uh, uh with the with the ash that's hanging off the end of the cigarette. It's all there's no cigarette. It's just all ash, and he's still you going at Martin it. Martin Short. He used to do that. Uh, Never heard of him. Nathan Thurm, the guy that lies. He did the 60 Minutes interview, and he's always got the long cigarette. He's like, what? What? He, he's all, you know, the guy that's denying. He's a tobacco giant guy or whatever. And he's right. denying that cigarettes are addictive. Listen, Brady. He's got a big cigarette with the fucking ash on the end. That's me. That was me. Listen, Brady. If people want to check out your Twitter feed so they can get in on this Mad Dog action, where can they check out on Twitter? Um, at uh, at Freakison, or Freakenstein, sorry, F-R-E-A-K-S-T-I-N-E. I, I put up all my artwork and, and all my stupid videos. That it's I good. No, listen, nobody it's good. nobody watches them because I, I got like a thousand uh, followers, but, but nobody... Watch the shit. So it's like I don't know what to tell you. I don't know. I I, I don't mind performing for my own audience. No, that's know. good. It it, it it passes the day or whatever. But yeah. but slowly but surely, you know, like Jesus. occasionally the odd the odd celebrity here and there, you know, comments yeah. on my shit. No, it's all good. It, 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 it ties me over for like a next year. Right on. You know, if I get one favorite, it's like yes. Well, for a year, baby. let me funny. let me say this. <laughs> let me say this that we appreciate you listening to the show. I'm glad that you took the time to call in. Uh, I like Absolutely. all your stuff. Keep doing what you're doing, baby. We'll talk at you again, okay? All right, Chris. Thanks, everyone. All right, there you Bye. go. There's Ladies and gentlemen, Ferguson. our Canadian comedy correspondent Brady Freakenstein Ferguson. Look, Cut him out. Look, look what I made. <laughs> Marty is still there. Oh, shut up. <laughs> it's a uh, mustache. Yeah, but I gotta go. I'm kind of right. tired from listening to Brady. <laughs> <laughs> he wore me out. He's good awesome. God, that guy can talk. Wow. He is All good. Right. He's that guy at the party that you're like, he what? What did stop it? He's uh, yeah. No, I like. Listen, Bray's a good soul. He's our he's, friend from the north. Yeah, and he's gonna get the wrestlers killed or something. I, don't uh, know. I know. Marty. By the way, the, the yes. Mounties are listening. Brady is not with us. <laughs> he's at his home in Canada. <laughs> Arrest him there. <laughs> <laughs> E-cigarette fiend in his garage mm-hmm. singing songs. Jesus. All right, Marty. T- make sure that you uh, you make sure you listen next week. Sarah will be in the studio. She's taking your your seat. Two oh, weeks. Sarah. Yep. Oh, it's not next week. It's the twenty sixth. So yeah, next week. The week after. Whatever. Twenty sixth. Tune in next week, though. Anyway. Oh. Yeah. All right, brother. Uh, I'm glad you called. All right. I'm glad things are going Jeez, good. Guys, I'm sorry that I show up very early for the shows when I do them too. <laughs> I'll show up like a week early and I know. stay in the room. I know. He just sits there. You guys while you play video games. Yeah. Eat cereal in the corner. What are you doing, dude? Come back, Put the Marty. cereal down. He is pretty pale, this Marty. Yeah. No, he is. He's not quite the marshmallow ghost. No, not quite. All right, brother. Always a pleasure. <laughs> All right. Take care, guys. All right, Marty Hoffman, ladies and gentlemen. That's Big Chief. Live from College <laughs> Station, Texas. I hope Brady doesn't get mad. I'm so afraid to like get stern with anybody now because everybody gets so bent out of shape about everything. But sometimes you just gotta be like, all right, stop it. Let me talk. He's awesome. so funny. He's yeah, awesome. he's remember every time he calls in, he gets like really. Like, I love best. listen. I That's love his Brady. personality. I no, him. he's excited. I think he's excited to talk to us. Oh yeah, and I think he does like a line of coke before he calls in. He's like, <laughs> hey everybody, how you doing? Okay. I'm retired, bitches. I'm uh, no drug test for me. I don't <laughs> care. He's gonna be able to zap himself with the smartphone <laughs> app. So. I know, right? All right, let's go ahead and take a little bit of a break. Uh, and then, we'll, oh what? No, well, I was gonna take a break, but we got a phone call. We'll go ahead and take this phone call real quick, and then we'll take a break. Uh, go ahead, ladies and gentlemen, calling in live from Cumbria, England. It's our Marysport comedy correspondent, Petra Celli. Yay. Name and purpose. I say calling in live. How else am I going to call in from the fucking past? <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 it's old school announcer stuff. You're not expected to understand it over there in your bleak little village. <laughs> it's this big city, no Hollywood. No I'm from Hollywood. I am from Hollywood. I know what I do. You sound like Andy Kaufman. <laughs> <laughs> he wishes. I wish. Yeah. Uh, sir, how are you this evening? How am I? How are you? I'm good. Why? Should I be bad? Uh, I think you should be a little bit bad. Here we go again. Uh-oh. Jesus Christ. Crystal, what did you I do? knew we couldn't go more than a week and a half or two weeks without some crap broil- boiling over. What, what, what did I do this time? Uh, I think you know. <laughs> Has Crystal not mentioned it to you? No. <laughs> Everything was good. We had sex this week and everything's good. Yay. What happened? Well, it's kind of got something to do with that. Actually. What? No, <laughs> shut your face, dude. What are you talking about? What's he talking about, Crystal? I, I, thought, I thought you knew. The way she was talking about it, I thought I thought she said something to you. No. I didn't say anything. No, only on Twitter. What? What? What are we? What are we? What's he talking about? Do you know? 
Yeah, well, I'm not going to tell you. Why? Why wouldn't you tell me? He's Because he's, he's called in with the purpose to tell you. Uh, uh, yeah, that was before. I, I thought you already knew. If he doesn't know, then it's just too weird. It's awkward. What? What? Yeah, what? No, it, sure. it's cruelty. What? Do you know a what delicious it is, Jordan? story. I don't know what I it is. I think I get an idea. What? Really? What is it? Yeah. Why would you have an idea? What are you talking about? I told Jordan. <sighs> you guys are such assholes. What is it? All right, go ahead, Ped. What did I do? I well, shaved her. <laughs> yeah, tell me. Just to say it. Hey, listen, don't be putting this on me. You're the one that should be embarrassed. I don't want to be. I, this is already I can't be any more embarrassed than I've been in my life at oh, multiple yeah. times. Oh, you and... can be. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't if know. I don't want to say it out loud. It must be bad. Okay, I don't know. Is what it about is it? farting? What is it about? I have no idea. Who knows? I kind of want to know. What do you call a Dutch oven over there, by the way? <laughs> well, what's a Dutch oven? <laughs> exactly. It's when you uh when you're in bed with somebody and you fart under the covers oh, and they pull fart, the covers you... under the head. Yeah. Just a laugh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Tiffany never had a laugh over there. What are you talking about? Why is that the only thing you could do well, for a laugh? Well, all right, well listen, you called. It's early yeah. in the morning over there. You going to say anything or not? Yeah, come on. What's going this? on? Spill it, buddy. I want to know. Well, apparently there was a small incident that happened with you and Crystal in bed that was, you know. Oh wait, I don't know this. Person. What is this about? Adam what? What? What did you say, Jordan? I'm, maybe I'm thinking, no, maybe I don't know. Now I'm excited. Yeah. What is it? <laughs> You're excited. Ask Crystal. I shouldn't, I shouldn't be out <laughs> no, you on this. This say, is not my call. Was it something that I did or something that she did or something that happened? It's obviously something that you did. I didn't do anything. I was fine. Could you spell it for us? Yeah. I can't spell. I'm dyslexic. Good <laughs> girl. I was playing Scrabble on Facebook the other day. I got an overall score of 42. <laughs> I can't imagine what it is. I'm pretty decent bet. I'm not, you know, fantastic. I'm not like a porn star, but I do all right. What color was it that he did? What? It doesn't have a color. Uh, oh, did you fart or something? I don't think so. I don't know what I don't know what he's talking about. I have no like did problems you... with my body. I'm yeah. Did was... like something? Well, if you if you think that you were fine and decent, maybe you want to ask Crystal what she thinks. Maybe I will. Maybe I will. What is it? Are you gonna tell us, Crystal? Or are we gonna spend oh, no, eighteen can't. minutes I mean, trying I to guess? I would never say that on the air. What? what Can you say it in non-graphic terms? I don't. think You said so. it on Twitter. Really? What letter does it start with? Is it I? What does I? What would I be? I don't even know. Why? All right, I give the hell up. I don't I, care. I, Come on. Either you're gonna, look, either you're going to tell us or I'm going to end the conversation. That's what's going to happen. Because I don't want to go on if you're not going to say Because obviously you, I don't know what you're talking about. Did you not get satisfied? Uh, obviously you do because you're getting a little bit <laughs> defensive now. I'm getting defensive. Like, you, you, know you know what's going to come out and you're already gearing up. For no, you know what this is moment. like? This is like your parents going, you know where we're going to go next week? Where? I'll tell you next week. What? No, where are we gonna where are we gonna go? Oh no no, you know where we're gonna go. No, I don't, I really don't. Where are we gonna go? Uh, I'm not gonna tell you where we're gonna go. Let's bring it up, not gonna tell you. Did you whisper it in his ear now? So he knows now? What is it? Can you word it where we no. might be able to get it? What? Oh my I God. probably shouldn't say. Well ah, uh, the whole thing is this bollocks. Is the worst thing it's that's ever awful. Happened. No, it's so stupid. It's they don't even have any they got nothing and they're just stirring it up. That's what they're doing right now. Oh, honest to God, Chris, it, I thought that it was like a, a funny thing between you. I didn't know that you didn't know, so I didn't want to embarrass you on the bloody radio. And now you're getting all oh you don't know, you don't John's so, just found out. I, he doesn't want it He doesn't you. know. You know he's, he's I, so he actually did it in his sleep and you think he didn't wake up? So this is not during the banging. This is an after. All right, what are you saying? Did, I, did something happen? Did I have an erection while I was asleep that you noticed? What happened? You're playing ring toss while I'm asleep? What, what was going on? I would know. Everybody gets that. Well, I know. That's why I'm saying. Why would I be embarrassed about that? Just what? say. All right, she's in the other room. She's laughing. She won't come near her mic. I don't know what she's talking Chris, about. Chris, do, do you talk in your sleep at all? I, how the hell would I know that, dude? Well, has it ever been mentioned to you that you're talking no. sleep? No, it's just snoring. No talking. Do you think Are you, you could... sure? Are you uh, sure you didn't say something rather embarrassing? Are you asking me if I'm sure I didn't say something when I was asleep or if somebody told me? Nobody's ever told me that I talked in my sleep. Um, I'm, I'm hinting. Oh, I know what you're hinting. What, what, how, how awful could it be? I know it is. It's tiring, dude. It's like, uh, it's like climbing a rope in gym class. Jesus. Uh, <laughs> was it something sexual? Did I cry or did I yell somebody else's name? Um, ah, oh, for God's sakes! It's kind of sexual, yeah. What? But it might not have been, but the way she described it made it sound like it was sexual, yeah. Was it sexual, Crystal? 
that I said something? Was it kind of like a request, Crystal? Is yeah. that how it came out? Did I call a dude's name out? Did yeah, I call a guy's like, name out? Was it like a gay thing? Let's just go straight for that. Did I say, oh, I need a penis? What, what did I say? <laughs> possibly. What do you mean possibly? That's a pretty distinct oh. statement. It's either that statement or something else. Not possibly. I can't. <laughs> All right, screw this. I'm done. Let's go ahead and take a break. All <laughs> right, let's take a break. <laughs> Are you going to say it or not? Because I, I I'm ready to take a break. I got a half an hour left. I got stuff to do, damn it. I can't be guessing. You got to give more better clues than, oh, maybe it's that. Maybe it's yeah, part maybe of... This, this is a conversation for you and your wife. So, sorry, Crystal. I didn't know that he didn't know about it. Now you got imp- Now so you. I, I feel like I've put me, me foot in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I, maybe. Hopefully it's just the foot. Jesus. Maybe Crystal wanted you to bring it up so that, you know... That she didn't have to. Maybe she was uncomfortable. She thought, hey, my friend Petricelli, who's separated by an ocean to prevent violence, once Chris finds out, could could break it to him. I've, I would never hit anybody over some bull crap like that. Well, yeah, this is true. I, I usually like for Petricelli to break any any bad news to you, like the iPad being broke, yeah. you know, the bedtime thing. Yeah. All the right. The vasectomy thing. Yeah, the vasectomy <laughs> thing. So you're gonna tell me or no? Because I can't. Obviously, I don't know. I, I mean, she's no basically idea. giving you permission to go ahead and say it. It out happened loud. in my sleep. I wouldn't have known it. She didn't say anything to me, so I still don't know about it. So I mean, what's what's the well, scoop? You, you you were just lightly, and I, you know, lightly. It wasn't like you were breakfast at Tiffany's or anything like that, you know. But apparently, you were just lightly moaning someone's name in a sexual way that was of a male gender. What? Oh come on. Was it your name? <laughs> was it your name? <laughs> was it one of the regular callers? It wasn't my name. No, nah, it be, wasn't Jordan's name. If it, it'd be Gav, it'd be Gav Cross. He's got the silky voice. That would do it for me. No, not Brad. Gav. Gav Cross. No, uh, it wasn't Gav. Damn it! I don't know who it is. It must be one of your your mates over there. Who was it? Sean? Steve? Who was it? Bob? Who's? Yeah, <laughs> uh, you you might have said his name. Sean? It wasn't Sean. <laughs> Are you serious? What the hell? No, it was actually, it was Seth. Seth. Uh-huh. I was moaning and saying Seth's name yeah, in my sleep. you know, sleep. he is metrosexual. I've always thought you've, you know, been giving him the eye before. Okay, him being metrosexual, why would I give him the eye? Uh, well, yeah, I mean, it would be not metrosexual. Only, well, no, because he looks like uh, he would be okay for a guy. What? Yeah. He I looks like know. he could be okay for a gay guy? Is that what yeah, you're saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's gotten in a lot better shape since he took that job, so. <laughs> you know, maybe it started then. It's the tan. Yeah, he's been working out with his shirt off. I don't know what to tell you, dude. I, who knows what happens? Like, I'm sure you've said things in your sleep that if somebody heard them, be like, what was that all about? I, I'm sure you're not all. I've never said anything like that. How do you know that? Well, because I've shared bed with people and they've never woke up and thought, bloody hell, me fella's gay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I all right. I don't know. Is that all he was saying, Crystal? Just Seth over and over. Yeah. What does that even mean? I, maybe we were out hiking and I was. A f- I fell and yeah. needed some help. I don't know. It just sounded like you were like having pleasure. Maybe ma- no. Was ma- he touching himself? Yeah. Maybe we were eating together maybe. and he took me to a restaurant. I was like, man, this stuff's so good. I oh my know. god. Maybe Seth, he was so London good. bridging. No, I doubt <laughs> it. Because he's he's at the time. Why would you ask that? Uh, you know, the covers look like they had a little bit of a bump. Easy. What? Come on, dude. How would you know? You never go in the room when I'm in there. <laughs> well, no, I just walked in to get my scrubs for work. Mm-hmm. And I was asleep and yeah. I was moaning Seth's name. Yep. Do you All think right. he was asking you to go to the boiler room? <laughs> <laughs> I, that's an inside joke. Uh, all right. So next time this happens, can you record it on your phone? I mean, yeah, I guess. All right. Has Can it you ever put it on the internet as well? I don't no. give a crap. Well, if no, I no. record it, I'm putting it on the internet. Yeah, no, I'll I'll, I'll give her permission. If if you if this actually <laughs> happened, and I actually said this, and you can record it, put it on the internet. I want to hear it. Perfect. All right, cool. There we are. Do you want to call Seth like after we take a break and just discuss it with him? <laughs> Hell no, I don't want to call we Seth. We can call out now. We got he's credit a hard, on Listen, guy. he's a hardworking man. Don't mess with my baby. Call him now. I'll break the news. <laughs> <laughs> I'm secretly pining for him in my sleep. Well, that, that's the way Crystal told her, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe she's pining for Seth. Who knows? No, I he's so, so not I, my type. I don't think she's wanting a threesome with you and Seth. I didn't. No, who said anything no. about a threesome? I didn't say anything about a threesome. <laughs> so you know how you, see how his brain goes? Wow, so it's mix. just you and Seth. No. What? You don't want Crystal there at all. No, that's not true. Uh-huh. All right. Freudian slip. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Crystal did her part for the uh, 30 seconds in the back room, Brad McLean's uh, soap opera deal on Spreaker. It was interesting watching her do the bits, but even better listening to her sing uh, Always Look on the Bright Side of Life, which <laughs> she's never heard before. Uh, it, it's what? so funny, dude. It's so funny. You've never heard that before? I don't know. No, she's not a Monty Python fan. Uh, but when she did it, she was doing it. She couldn't help but sing the song in a British accent, which was just beautiful. I couldn't stop. No, it wasn't even that. I don't even know what kind of accent it was, but I couldn't I couldn't make myself stop. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God. What's that? We're going to we're gonna play a little section for everybody. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Here it is right here. Listen to this. Listen to this, Petch Charlie. And <laughs> always look on the bright side of life. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Always look on the light side of life. Good God. <laughs> if life seems jolly rotten, and there's something you've forgotten, and that's to laugh and smile and dance and sing. Boom, boom. When you're feeling in the dumps, don't be silly chumps. Just push your lips and whistle. That's the thing. <laughs> You know what it sounds like? It sounds like a British stereotype and some <laughs> redneck had a bastard offspring. <laughs> and it started with sort of like, uh, how does that song start again? Uh, oh, she read the, initial, the original lyrics in the beginning when he starts talking, he's on the cross, and it was so, I was like, why are you doing that voice? Why I thought she, she was trying to be Jamaican at the very beginning. God, it was so funny. It was so far off. It was so funny. Uh, so anyway, she sent that to Brad, they'll put it together, it should be good. Yeah, listen to the whole thing on Shipwrecked. Or 30 I minutes in the back room. Bits, yeah. You haven't done them yet. No, because he, he's got one coming out that's not that one, and that's coming out next. And I only did the recent one yesterday, and I did crap at it. Do you, uh, when you do it, you just read the script, or do you, you guys do like a, you don't do a conference call or anything like that. You just basically read the parts like she did and then send them to him, right? Yeah, we do. Yeah, I, I never read it beforehand because I can't act. So I try and pretend it's all real. So I don't know what's going to. I get really annoyed doing it, Chris. Like r properly annoyed. <laughs> I sit there and I'm, I'm like, right, I'm on an island. I've got IBS. There's no toilet paper. I don't like coconuts. There's only coconuts to eat. I've got Jimmy Poodle, the Irish idiot, talking about his cat and John Wilson playing with his finger and his asshole. And then someone <laughs> says something. It just makes me lose it. Half of the stuff that you hear me say, he didn't write down. It's just me getting angry at him on the computer. <laughs> <laughs> Crystal tried. She was like, "What?" When she was reading, lines, I'm like, "Look, when you do it, just you know, look at the first. She had to do like a random insults at Gav for this next episode, and she was being so nice. I'm like, "Well, what is the what happened right before you insulted him?" She had to read the script. I'm like, "Read the script. See what why you're upset at him. Go try to be you know real about it." it was so funny, dude. Jesus, I guess getting a bachelor's degree in drama really paid off. I actually understand how to act. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you read the damn script first so you know your motivation. Right? It's like the basic thing. I She just read him. I'm like, well, why? what am I going to insult him? I'm like, well, what happened right before you, you were supposed to insult him? Look at that and then decide. Uh, it was so funny. Anyway. All right. Well, we're looking forward to you. You can check that out on Brad McLean's uh, page uh, on Spreaker. Uh, and it's called 30 Minutes in the Back Room, the Shipwreck series. Very funny. Should be good. I'm looking forward to hearing it. Okay. Is that it? <laughs> All right. Fine. <laughs> fine. Listen, in two weeks. Whoa, 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 what was that noise? What was that, Tiffany? What? Tiffany exploded. You sound like a fucking monkey in the zoo. <laughs> you did. You asked before, and it was just like. <laughs> you sound like the air being released from a tire. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> silence. <the> silence of the <laughs> lambs. That's true though. She's she's like really stingy with her ha's. She'll only give one per laugh. <laughs> Most people do like ha ha ha. ha. Tiffany's just ha. <laughs> oh, I got three. No, those are fake laughs. I I know when she really laughs and when she has that fake laugh, like eh, I'm gonna give you a courtesy. It's like a golf clap, is what it is, but the laugh version. <laughs> <laughs> All right, brother. Well, listen, I'm going to let you go. Take a quick break, and we'll finish up the show. Uh, thanks, as always, for calling. And uh, listen, Marty said he loved the, your comments on the Jewish race thing. He thought that was hysterical. He loved it. Well, I am a Jewish hero now. Uh, I know. That's something we all are because Honestly, of you. Every time I think about that, it makes me puff my chest out a little bit. But <laughs> someone somewhere is like, you know what? There was that fella that died on the cross. He was a Jew. And then somewhere near him is that the fella from England. 
Makes me feel good about myself. Well, you heard Jordan say that we got mentioned on it. What was it? Uh, uh, Antisemitism.net. Yeah, we got mentioned because they, of that. They posted the show. Well, I think it's just because of the title. Yeah, I that's don't fine. Know. Well, you have to send me, the, and I mean this as well, Jordan. Don't yeah. be lazy. Send me the link <laughs> to that, and I'm going to be all over that page. I'm going to be like, I have arrived, the yeah. hero. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to milk it for all it's worth. Like, I never get any people saying anything nice about me, and for once, I'm the bloody hero. We so. say I say nice things all the time about you. What are you talking about? We, yeah. we names. Say say three things that you've ever said nice about me. Uh, I think that your comedy is brilliant. I think that you're. I don't do comedy. I just yap on. Okay, I, I your yapping is brilliant. I think it's very funny, uh, and I like that you contribute to our show. I'm very flattered that you're involved, dude. I, I, I have no so bad it's, things. It's so. just two. Okay, it's two. My <laughs> mom <laughs> couldn't I'm, come up with a third one. My mom has said that she really likes Petra and that he's very funny. He's just yapping. You know that, right? Yeah, but she says that he's very funny. She really likes it whenever he calls in. See? But I'm always really nasty to you, Tiffany. No, she really likes you. <laughs> oh, is she on Facebook? No, no way. <laughs> we tried this. She... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've been trying for like a year and a half, dude. It's not going to happen. She likes us, What's... like, and she won't do it. What's Tiffany's mom's name again? It's so much different, isn't it? Laureen. Laureen. Oh, it's not different. I thought you said she was called Maureen or Margarine. Oh, it's Laureen, L-O-R-E-N-E. Which is actually kind of different. Mostly, most of the time, it's Lorraine, but it's Lorraine. Mm-hmm. Lorraine. Yeah. Oh well, thank you very much, Lorraine. <laughs> 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 uh, she just went, "Oh crap!" Uh, Clarence just got all upset. I know, right? Right on. All right, brother. Please, I don't want to mess with any guy called Clarence. It's not, yeah. I've seen the, I've seen the hills have eyes. <laughs> I don't want to know. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, brother. Well, listen. Right, I'll, I'll let you go. Yeah, yeah. Always a pleasure yeah. talking to you. And uh, you give us a call next week. Nice try trying to get Chris stirred up. Come back with something better next time. Yeah, bring it. Yeah. Have some de- yeah, detail. I, I, I even said to Brad, I've literally got nothing. I'm just going to create a lie. <laughs> <laughs> you got to have better details. If you got the details and I can't quite. Nail them down, then we could have something. Yeah, Ooh. next time collaborate with me and Crystal a little before the show. So we can come up with something horrible. Oh my god. Okay, but we'll wait a couple of weeks so we we'll oh. expect it. Yeah, he'll forget. He smokes too much. We'll pot. hit him. With, we'll hit him with like two or three truths, and then a really nasty lie. <laughs> All right, if that's what you need to do to make your Thanksgiving better. You do that. Oh, yeah. No, he does not do Thanksgiving. I know Don't it's ours. Be silly. Make our Thanksgiving better. All right. Anyway, do you do Canadian Thanksgiving? Canadian? What? I'm not Canadian. <laughs> yeah, why Why would he do that? I don't know. Maybe it's like one of those imported, like they get it back because they're part of the crown. I don't know. <laughs> Are they still a colony? I, I didn't even know. No, they're in the Commonwealth. I didn't even know that Canada had a Thanksgiving. What, what are they thanking for? They live in one of the worst places. It's, it's surrounded in snow and moose. I don't know. Yeah, I agree with you. <laughs> He's like a, they should have an angry giving. <laughs> <laughs> a pissed giving. All right, oh, brother. All right, and I'll let you go. All right, there he is, Petrocelli. Thanks for calling, brother. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. All right, there you go. Uh, Petrocelli, let's go t- k- take a quick break. I want to refresh this, finish up the rest of the show. Uh, i got, like, two more things I want to talk about. Uh, and anything on Twitter, Crystal, happening? No. Nothing at all. Why? What no, with the well, why don't thing? the MMA guys come to us when they're going nuts? I know. Why? Well, Twitter, Twitter used to be like really cool for us, and now it's not really. Nothing's happening. It's kind of boring. She's yeah. Facebook. Is it kind of la- la- eased up? Yeah, I feel like it's not as exciting at all. I don't know. I haven't been on there since I haven't remember because I used to live tweet during the show, but now I don't because uh, of the internet. Yeah. Dear teenagers, please tell us what the next big social thing is so we can it's get Instagram. in on that. Yeah, uh. yeah, I love it. All right, play something. We got to play do the rap yeah, song. Play, throw it up. We'll be back in a second, a little bit with uh, the last part of Double Special. Uh, the phone number again is 727 475 6139. If you want to give us a call in the last half hour, we'll be back in just a couple of minutes with more Double Special.
a need to go to school. Got thoughts swimming in Barbara Talkman's pool. It's always gonna be a march of folly when you go against me as a Zolly. Reflect your rocket, crit damage on you. I set them all on fire in TF2. I'm double special. My team name is Double Special. I'm the producer, you can call me Hayride. If you read me, you'll be on my good side. Mystify me, babe, make your choice. Send you crazy with my sexy voice. When I say porn words, slow C gets mad. Throbbing veins in his head, not his nads. I don't care, I'm voicing Veronica. Send all my fans and P3s for Hanukkah. Double special. We hate what you like. Double special. We hate what you like. Double special. We hate what you like. Check in. We hate what you like. Double special. We hate what you like. Double special. We hate what you like. Check in. I am Jay Waters Blue from NYU. Dropping words for y'all. Let them lie where they fall. Leaving you amazed. Let the ladies get crazed. Chase me into the stall. I'm not one out to Shelly Duvall. Oh, yeah. Hey, Slow C. What's up, JV? Let's hear a little bit from Tiff Barbie. I'm Tiffany. I'm kind of neurotic. Some of the things I say are idiotic. I'm not trying to be offensive. It's just true words. Don't get defensive. I don't even know how to rap, but I'd rather do this challenge than eat hot sauce crap. When I was little, I was a pageant kid. You can't even imagine the crazy things I did. Jumping through hoops of fire if you want my hoop you can only aspire none of you boys are good enough for me i'm the original tip of our b i'm the host in the spot draping the I'm the host in the spot, straight from the drop, taking all the crap from the people who are not being neutral, is what I'm playing. No one seems to care about what I'm saying, but I push through, as good fellas do, like Joe Pesci said, do I amuse you? I'm from New England, I rap is cynical, taking down bitches that be calling me tyrannical. Push them close from the forward to the back. Write some new dope lines, then I shove them in your ass crack. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you hurt? I was just ripping lyrics. Didn't mean to get hurt. The show was flawless. Our friends are lawless. And if you listen long enough, I'm sure that you will call us. It's double special. It's double special. Big shout out to everybody who listens to the show. Petricelli, Brad McLean. Miguel Hito. Yeah, Cranial awesome. missions. We hate what you like. It's on. We hate that's what right. You like. Double special. We and we're like. back live. Chris is checking his phone. Look at him. Look at him right there. Like a little chipmunk. Yeah. <laughs> All right. That's the double special wrap. In the weeks to come, we will be having a little wrap off with our friends over at Cranial Emissions who have dubbed us their, our sister show. Like I, I called the show last week. They said we were sister shows. I don't even know no, what No, I'd rather be a brother show. <laughs> uh, we're yeah. gonna, they're going to send us some beats. We're going to do a rap. It should be fun. It's a little hackneyed, but whatever. We'll do it. Anyway. I'd rather just be like friend shows. Yeah. Be yeah fun. Why do we I don't like the get blood get relation thing. Yeah, right? Cousins. They're going to ask us to borrow money. Uh, uh, unless we can borrow money from them. I don't know. Do you have money? I don't have any money. I I'm, talking money. To, I'm talking to cranial emissions now. Uh, we've got a beer thing going on. Maybe yeah. there's somebody there. I don't know. You're listening to Double Special. The phone number is 727-475-6139. In the studio, we got uh, JB. We got uh, Tiffany uh, back joining us. In two weeks, we'll have Sarah Wilcox live in the studio. Uh, that'll be a lot of fun. Also, on the phone, same night, Eddie Brill, uh, who booked The Late Show for years with David Letterman, uh, has traveled all over the country, all over the world doing comedy. It's, and really, I got some questions for him. He's a serious dude. No, I got some questions just about how to get on TV, what they're looking for to be on TV. I'm, I, I've never seen myself as a TV Or comic. radio. 
Remember, $200,000 a year is all it takes to buy double special for your radio station. Yeah, buy it and put other people in here as well. No, no, <laughs> they, they give us two hundred grand and we split it four ways. Four ways? A yeah. year? That's only 50 grand a year. That's a lot of money for us. Have you ever made 50 grand a year? Close to it, yeah. Well, yeah, that's not a lot of money. I'd still be happy with that for the first year. Okay, yeah. We can, Tiffany, you can always renegotiate. You down with that? Yeah. 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 Cool. It's pretty cheap, though, for most shows. That is. That is. Yeah. Not or, so you know, put together, what the hell, what did they do for that dog? What dog? Fun go, go fund. Fun go fund. Yeah, do one of those for us. Yeah, go fund. Jeez, we're like at worth at least twelve dogs. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to check out some comedy, you can do so. If you live locally, I'll be at uh, the High Octane Saloon this Friday night. The show is at seven thirty. Uh, it's a bonkers room. I'll be up there headlining. I'm working on some new stuff, uh, getting some stuff tight for Sunday night, which will be at Side Splitters. I'll be doing eight minutes of high octane comedy uh, in the Sweet Sixteen competition against Paul Solio, one of our old. Improv friends, rivals, friends, whatever you want to put it. I was a rival. They were a rival at one point. Just that one night yeah. when we pissed them off, dude. Well, oh, we pissed them off so bad. He went ugly. And Paul still likes me because she talked to Paul. He seems like I don't. He's probably forgot oh, he about forgot. that. Night, yeah, you think? no, it was, it was uh, so no, long. Yeah. How is it we remember that, but they forgot? Because it was, was it was a major milestone for us. It was a minor disappointment for them. <laughs> you know, you know how that goes. It's like when you like kill somebody three times in a row in a video game. It's like ah, I'm so much better. They don't care. <laughs> They're like, yeah, I yeah. got killed again. Whatever. And then they I'm just come back and stop you. <laughs> In the new, are you in any comedy this week? What do you got coming up? Well, I was gonna do shows all weekend, but then I decided I'd rather go with you. Oh, that's right. Well, you're only you're going Sunday night. You wouldn't be working Sunday night anyway, but Friday night. You can still do comedy Saturday night. It's okay. You're not gonna do it. Take no. the night off. What are you gonna do Saturday? Um, we're gonna hang out, aren't we? What? Aren't Dude, we I all can't. Doing stuff? Uh, I want to have like. What about Jordan? I never even got to I see don't know Jordan. What the hell? He's t- what are you talking about? What are you talking about at He's, all? Yeah, you just saw him last night. We were here. We watched Guardians of the Galaxy. We hung out. Which is on DVD. Yeah, yeah. It's on DVD. It's a great movie, by the way. Um, All right, fine. Saturday, I'll just hang out with my friends. What friends? What are you going to do Friday night? I have lots of other friends. Friday, I'm going with Chris. I'll have to videotape him. (laughs) Yeah, we're going to to Crystal River. A little road trip. And then Sunday, I'm going with him to Side Splitters. Mm Mm-hmm. So, wow. And then Saturday, I guess I'll go either hang out with my friends Erica and them, or I'll- We'll go to Walmart. Get some, to, do some to get some Honey Nut Cheerios. You want to go to Walmart? To get some Honey Nut Cheerios. I do like Honey Nut Cheerios. Do you? Yeah. Do you like Usher? What? <laughs> do you like Usher? Not really. No? I mean, he's okay. You better learn to love him. That's right. If you like Honey Nut Cheerios, you better get in the groove with Usher. Why? That's the way he's bringing it now. Jordan, he's bringing it that way. That's the only way to get his new song. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Got to go to Walmart. He's going to be releasing his new sit single only in boxes of Honey Nut Cheerios sold only at Walmarts. How low has Usher sunk? What was this? Where that's the marketing campaign. And I don't know how much he's getting paid for. It's got to be a lot. I'd be happy to get paid for putting a song in Honey Nut Cheerio yeah, boxes. Yeah, but you're not at Usher. He's had platinum out. I mean, he's Oh a, yeah, yeah, well, no. He's fa- he's not a like just some yeah. you know fly-by-night guy. He's have a, he has a career. Usher. And now he's distributing his CD in cereal, what breakfast cereal. Maybe he made the decision that, number one, it'll get him bigger distribution, because otherwise you just put it up on iTunes and hope people care about you still. Now it'll be in front of us. It's probably the only way to get stuff into retail but he, he, anymore. He's, but he's not making, listen, a box of cereal is four bucks. He's not, can't be making that much money on a CD. Yeah. I don't know how much, well, how much do you get from a, a iTunes sale versus how much does he get it's paid a buck per a song. unit? It's a buck a song. I well, bet he's getting probably like 30 cents maybe. Maybe, and that a lot of that goes to like record companies and stuff. I don't record, know. He, no, these guys are probably recording. No, they mm-hmm. pay the rec- recording studio, and then that's it. Well, but what if he can get guaranteed 20 cents per song, but it's going into 5 million There's Honey no Nut way. Cheerio boxes? I would be, I'd, like, I'd love to see the numbers on that little endeavor. Yeah. It'll go about as good as U2's free album that they gave out. Everybody's yeah, Usher, write that number that you're making on a check and send it to Double Special. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Show us your statements, damn it. I want to see what the hell's going on there over at uh, Honey Nut Cheerios. Yes, Tiffany? What song did he have that was popular? I, forgot. I don't even know. Remember, yeah. what was it back? I was like in high school. Well, I, I figured you would know. Out of, out of the three of us, I thought you would have a better idea. I couldn't tell you one Usher song. There's one song that goes, Usher, Usher. <laughs> I think it was the <laughs> That's all I remember. <laughs> I mean, he had This Way to Your Seat, Madam, or uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> the flashlight burns brightly. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. I feel like there's one song I would know, but I can't think of what it is. It's bothering me now. Was it this Thong Song? No, the Cisco is Thong Song. Yeah, yeah. No, Usher's I don't a know. bit more classier than sing, Cisco. Sing song. I don't know. I any, need to I, know. I don't know any Usher songs. I've, I'm not a fan of Usher. 
I know of him. I know he does silky smooth R and B, and that's all I know. I have no idea what else. I, I couldn't even tell you where he's from or. So why are we getting Cheerios? I was kidding. I just used it to, to bring up the story. I thought it was interesting that oh. Usher, a nationally, I mean, a uh, international Did you really think we star. were going to go do that? Yeah, why the hell would I do that? I don't want Usher's CD. I don't know what you guys I don't even like really. I don't even really like Honey Nut Cheerios that much. We why literally have to go do this now as a group. I know, I, right? I know. Isn't that like apparently now it's foretold? Yeah, we can pick up some Doritos while we're there. Look at that. Yeah, it's going to be up on YouTube soon. Double Special goes to the Walmart to get the uh, Usher song. Does a fancy song. In the Cheerios. A fancy dance to the Usher CD. <laughs> Remember, we could be saying this for two hundred thousand dollars a year if you, we could switch any brand name in there for you. We're going to the Kmart to pick up the the Life cereal to get the Cisco song. The Life cereal. Yeah. Oh my God! The other night we were here hanging out, and Jake is Jake is hanging out with uh, with uh, Jordan. And Jordan is being really good with Jake because he's helping him make these like he's into this uh, new show that's like animals. The it's like pecker thing. The Wild Kratts, the, the, the yeah. very same people who threatened us in the opening that I did. Yeah, the Wild Kratts is a show on PBS that he his friend watches, so he has to watch it, which I'm kind of glad because it's an educational show. They, they teach about animals and stuff, but they got these discs they, in uniforms. So, so he has Jordan making these things out of cardboard and everything, and while he's standing next to Jordan, he's doing he's bouncing up and down. Wow. He's got to pee. You know, he's doing that six-year-old, I got to pee. Now, Jake has had a couple accidents here and there where he'll just, like, blow off peeing to do what he's doing, and then he can't hold it. And he doesn't make it to the bathroom, right? It doesn't happen very – it's like happened once or twice. So I'm getting a little nervous. I'm like, dude, you gonna you got to go to the bathroom? And he looks at Jordan, and Jordan's like, maybe you should go to the bathroom. Oh, yeah, I'm going to go to the bathroom. He walks away from Jordan, halfway out of this room, stops, gets this look on his face like, no, nah, I got it, comes back. I'm like, dude, what are, what are you doing? How come you didn't go to the bathroom? No, I got it, I got it, I took care of it. I'm like, How, what do you mean you took care of it? Oh, no, I, I did the camel paw trick. I'm good. I'm like, the camel paw trick? Okay, first of all. <laughs> when you're a parent and you're anything like camel paw, like that's too close to camel toe. It just, I don't know. You know my first instinct was like, where did you hear that? Yeah. Like, where did you hear that? And what the hell does that mean? All right. Like, I'm thinking if you're peeing, it's, what is it? You like tucked it in? I, what, I don't even know. Like, I don't want to get in the conversation. But at the same time, <laughs> I don't want him to say to his teacher, I don't have to pee anymore. I, I did the camel paw. Because I know she's going to be like, what in the hell is that? What is a camel paw? Yeah, what are your parents teaching you? He denies hearing it anywhere else and tells me that he made it up himself. <laughs> Do you just, believe him? I don't, I don't know. I what don't even it? know. I mean, the camel paw. What is that? I don't. Where does that even come from? I don't. I I think he must have heard camel toe at one point and no, didn't quite understand no. what it meant, but he knew it had to do with like crotches and something. <laughs> <laughs> and then he just, you know, and then he mixed the toe <laughs> paw because animals actually have paws, not toes. So he figured right. the adults got it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> that can't be correct. A toe? Who yeah. would use their toe? No, use your paw. Uh, and it's a hoof on a camel, not a paw. So he's, you know, he's not no, too they don't smart. have hoofs. He probably heard they got it. toes. No, it's a hoof though. It's a part of a hoof. They got toes on the hoof, but it's, a, it's not a foot, is it? It's a hoof, right? I don't know. I don't. You know, don't. You see, you said that. You don't even know for sure. Pretty sure they got like regular feet. See not how hooves. he did that? How condescending he did that? No, it's not. They got, they got toes. Uh, really? It's not part of a hoof. I don't think it's a hoof. We'll look it up after. I think. Uh, <laughs> Jake though probably got it from a YouTube video or a TV show though, because he's mm. very like. Or one of his little stuff. hooligan friends, maybe. Dude, they already started talking about booties, and they're talking about mm. they talk about peepees and my balls. They like they, they love to say my balls a lot. Anything, oh, they sing a song and they put my balls in there. I get it; it's funny. I just don't want them to do that at school because I don't want to get the phone call like your son's talking about balls. Right. He's got to leave now for right. the day. What is camel paw though? Did he explain? No, it? he had no explanation. I asked him, "What does that mean? Did you pinch well, he, it off?" He or? no, yeah, he grabbed himself down there like he, did. he was he kinda, pinching it off. Right, yeah. right. So apparently, that's a camel yeah. paw maneuver. Yeah. Where you crush the penis. <laughs> <laughs> you grab it with and use like camel paw vice like vice like grip and crush the penis so that the, the urine can't pass out and it takes like an hour or so for the inflammation to go down where you can actually pee. I don't know what he did. I have no idea. How long mm. could he hold it after that? I don't well he went he we finally He talked started to dancing it. around a second again later. Yeah, it did not <laughs> last long. <laughs> the, the camel paw trick has about a, a shelf life of about eight minutes and yeah. then you gotta go. Uh, it was very odd though. I got panicky because I just—I'm not trying to be like overbearing. I just don't want him to say the wrong right. thing. Where in mixed he, company. Yeah. Like I don't—I'm not okay with him farting on you guys when he's here. Yeah. You guys laugh and everything, but he got right right up on you, Tiffany, and laid one right on you. Just farted right on you. Yeah, he did. That was hilarious. <laughs> yeah, he's really comfortable with us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm comfortable with you too, but I'm not gonna fart on you. Oh well, yeah, you I need to, sick, I need so. him to learn that you know personal. Yeah, we're space not gonna be support. proud of it anyway. Yeah, I might laugh. A at little part. proud of we it. We would yeah. probably laugh if you did do that. To be honest, I would laugh. 
You wouldn't be completely, like, horrendously offended if I was like, hey, Tiffany. Sadly, I would laugh. Wow. <laughs> all right. I'm going to remember that at the party. I know. All right. I'm going to get all drunk and be like, hey, Tiffany, come over here for a second. Watch this. <laughs> Maybe we can make, like, a double special challenge video out of it. Uh, oh, we could do the Malachi fart crunch. Yeah. It's on either side. <laughs> just yeah. collapse her. We just, we, we just need to get together and spend a day eating refried beans <laughs> at a time. Get a blanket, do a Dutch oven mm-hmm. on it. Show her what the deal yeah. is. Aww. Yeah. We'll great. see who can drive Tiffany out of the blanket first. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Some cabbage. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Stuffed that, cabbage. There you go. Oh, gosh, yeah. Blow out a ring. Blow out an O-ring on that. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Before we leave tonight, I want to talk about this because it's kind of big news. Jordan's excited. I'm not sure what this story is all about completely, but everybody's mad. Well, not everybody, but Internet providers are mad at Obama. Uh, just add another person on the list that's mad at Obama. Why? Well, you put up there yeah. Obama net, and I'm wondering if you're like all your conservative friends are actually saying that. No, like it's Obamacare. I, well, I looked. No, I looked it up, and they said a lot of the people that are against it are calling it Obama net. That's the name that they've labeled it. Uh, I, you know, it, yeah. it's not a big stretch. I knew it would go that way. Yeah. Any, anybody that's opposed to anything that he does is going to put Obama in front Obama of it. Obama phones. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Which wasn't even his deal. That was some somebody else started that years ago. The, the so, Bush, but yeah. Well, no, it was further than that. It wasn't. Uh-huh. It was, yeah, it was way further than that. What's the problem? Jordan, tell her what Obama it is. He he instructed the FCC to uh, come up with strong rules for internet neutrality, which basically means what, yeah, define inter- internet neutrality. It means that any internet site is transferred at the same speed when you request it, no matter what it is, whether it's Netflix right. or <clears throat> somebody's old Geo. I don't think there's Geo cities anymore, but Geo. Yeah, but somebody's like double special show dot com. Right. Either it has to be sent with the same kind of the same speed. And this is addressing the problem of what? Because I read this and I was surprised. They've been slowing down Netflix and such. Right. They're slowing down. Some sites get mm-hmm. better uh, speed uh, because they either pay more money or lobby. Right. Or whatever. Well, that's yeah. The Verizon and the other companies they want they want internet site owners to pay them more money so that they can get delivered to you at a better speed. Right. Basically, if if uh, Netflix doesn't pay Comcast and they slow it down. Right. If we don't pay them, they will start slowing us down if right. they can. So your videos don't stream, you can't game, yeah. so on and so forth. Like so you'd have to pay your YouTube bill. Now. And I listen, I'm o- I feel okay with this. I know that everybody's going to be you know, there are people pissed off because Obama suggested it, but I, I get this vibe from him that like as he's going out of office, he's like, you know what, I'm going I'm to do some shit right well, now. No, I mean, a lot of people have been calling it, and it makes sense because the internet, right. it's almost at this point, it's such a prevalent part of your life. It's right. almost like... Uh, electricity coming into or your house. water, sure. Imagine if you bought an appliance and you had to use a specific kind of electricity or your power company says you can only use this kind of washing machine. That's the only thing that works with our electricity. Yeah. No, it's true. How do you feel about that? Do you use the internet here and there? Yeah. Yeah? So, you care? what? She's so, so, so bored. She's I know. so bored so, with this topic right now. So this the is, Obama... not about wands. <laughs> the Obama nets <laughs> is good then. Well, it depends on what side of the... So yeah. I don't know what the arguments against it are. What are the arguments against it? Well, the the, the cable companies are claiming we own the wires, and it, some websites are using much more bandwidth than others, and so, we should be able to charge them for that. So it's only bad for them. No, it's bad for everybody but them. So well, well if they get their way. What's better for Tiffany? <laughs> Net neutrality. So this thing. Yes. Yeah. Okay, cool. So when it comes up, vote for it. <laughs> Not that you're voting. Are you? Did you vote? No. Well, I was leaving town. You were leaving town. You could have voted that day. Yeah, but I like to be well educated. The only, you know, before I vote, I just felt well, like. Well, you know what? If you I watch the news every now and again, you would be a little bit more educated. It basically, anyway. it'd be that more place. like. Imagine if you <laughs> logged into your internet and it was almost like cable. Like you only had certain internet channels to choose from. If right. you tried to go to a different channel that wasn't as popular, wasn't in your package, they would be slowed way down to like you were on an old dial-up modem on AOL. And sometimes and sometimes not even available. I've noticed that some sites yeah. aren't available on some browsers or some web, some cable companies. Yeah. You can't get to some sites. Like you would have to subscribe to, you'd only get three different news sites and right. the others would barely work. You wouldn't be able to load any video. It'd be super slow, no pictures. I only go to like five websites ever anyway. Okay, but What are the five websites? Like Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, <coughs> Netflix. None of those are, have any educational <laughs> redeeming, but not, nothing. Not, not a bit. Oh, no, and, any and, news my sites? Schools, and my school's liber- Well, Yahoo. 
So I guess that's six. Yeah. Yahoo. Who, are Yahoo they even still around? Yahoo the news at the beginning. You're still going on Yahoo? Well, that's where I get my email. Holy crap. Oh She's still God. got a Yahoo account. I had the same Yahoo account that I started when I was in high school. She's using the AOL disk for 120 minutes free. With the Sorry, business. my mom still got the AOL at AOL <laughs> Gmail. It's <laughs> so dad, embarrassing. Listen, my dad's using Netscape. Oh, jeez. Yeah, he's like free. You know, he's like, all right, all right, all right. Uh, wow. Oh, the, no news sites? You don't go to any news sites or any? Like, I go on Vice News on uh, on oh, YouTube. I, I was going on Reddit for a little bit. Yeah, no, but Reddit's uh, kind of a news site. No, I don't use that for news. Um, links on what, to other news. No. Right. Oh, yeah, sometimes. You know she's not hitting those links, though. No, no. like, Facebook has uh, news on there. What news? That's how I find out the news. What? No, that's a terrible way to find out and the news. Guys, it's just trending. They don't even, there's no news. You the news. <laughs> okay, it's not. It's better than nothing. I'll say that. But you gotta go, go oh, get out. The this this bell news. is her main source of news now. The bell. <laughs> this is. Oh, Tiffany, here's this bell. Oh, news time. Oh, I'm learning. Stuff is happening oh, in the world. The Colbert Report gives me my news, and so does. Uh, and, and so does Daily Show. Those give me my news. Well, but that's not. The, but those aren't credible news, news sources. They're, those are. Okay. Wow. Well, I love does both. Does it matter? Those I'm alive. It's working out, whatever I'm doing. Wow. Yeah, but you didn't even know about that. What? All right. The Obama net thing? Well, you just told me. No, oh, for God's sakes. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, Brad calling in not. live from Australia, the, the apparently newsless country, according to Tiffany, <laughs> Brad <laughs> McLean. Brad doesn't follow G'day, folks. News. How you going? Hey, good, Brad. How are you, sir? Not too bad, not too bad. It's a lovely day over here. The wind's blowing and the sun's out, so I'm enjoying the little patch of shade I'm standing in. <laughs> the little patch of shade. It's like a little. <laughs> it sounds like you're in a Dr. Seuss book, and there's one like one skinny tree with a tuft of hair on top. Don't be silly, Chris. I've got a hat on, and it's got red and white stripes. That's as close as I get. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I had, I had, uh, I took great pleasure in watching Crystal read the lines for your show. <laughs> and how'd she go? How'd she go on it? I well, she's not. Listen, Crystal's not an artistic person. She's not uh, like an actor or a comedian or anything like that. So she, you know, she gets a little uh, uh, flustered easily. But when, you know, in the acting, she didn't bother to read. Like she just saw her lines <laughs> and was going to read the lines flat out. <laughs> And then as she read them, she thought, well, this sucks. I hate this. I'm like, well, I know you have to find your uh, emotional motivation. Read the rest of the script. See what's happening before and after you say your lines and then pretend that you're there. And it just she looked at me like, what? (laughs) That's I think that's the hard part. It's easy to go through and see, you know, be for Brad and go, I walked along the beach. You know, but it's in it's completely out of context into what's happening. So it's, it's it is important, I think, to go through for your own sake and just say, oh, okay, yeah, we're about to get probed here, or or <laughs> or not, and just have like this completely out of context voice doing the whole thing. Like some of the insults, like we had to do the Gav insults like six <laughs> times, dude, like six <laughs> times. Oh, it's gonna be good. I can't wait to put it together. I haven't. I haven't yet looked at it too much because I'm still working on this week's. Yeah, that should I'll, I'll get done this week. Oh no, wait, wait till few days. wait till you hear her part where she insults Gav. It's so funny because it gets increasingly worse and worse until the end where she's like, "Stupid Gav, stupid Gav." It's just like this. I heard that bit. <laughs> I, I heard that. I heard that bit. I was just cracking up laughing, and then uh, she said about an in, uh, a uh, accent during a singing, so I had to listen to that. Bit. <laughs> <laughs> and a, and a, a little bit of a giggle. But what I like about everyone having a go at singing and whatever is that we're all got to have a go at singing. Yeah. And uh, it just puts us, exposes a lot of us. I've got to sing Bruce Springsteen's Philadelphia this week. So oh, my I mean, God. Try, mm-hmm. try doing that monotone. Jesus <laughs> Christ. I've ended up, re- I ended up last night, I'm, I'm halfway through the first verse and I'm just deflated looking at a microphone going, this sucks. <laughs> so I wrote it into a parody version of, the Bruce Springsteen song. Nice. And just sung that. Yeah. No, I found out, I had Crystal, what she did was she played the video with the headphones on and then had the mic so she couldn't So she couldn't hear it without the headphones. But my wife is about the most tone-deaf person. Wait, wait, back it up. <laughs> 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 anyway, that was for us. Uh, yeah, she's she's really tone-deaf, dude. I, I And I don't mean to, I'm not trying to be mean, but she can't, you can't sing, Crystal. Into the mic. <laughs> you cannot sing at all. I cannot. 
And she Chris loves. I sympathize there. I'm in the same group. <laughs> I, she it's a, and I'm and I'm sitting here and I'm listen. I can't sing that well either, but I have a good ear for music. And I'm like, how can she be that far off? I it's it's playing in her ears, and she is completely like two <laughs> octaves off of what they're singing. I had a guy one time. This is this is true. We were, we were, we were our friends were playing a festival, and we all went back to to Dave's place, and we had a heap of bands there and all that kind of stuff. And Dave was laughing, saying, "Now I can't sing." And uh, there's a fellow there says, "Everyone in the world can sing. There's no dramas about that." He said, "Give me, give me ten minutes with you. I, I can get a tone in your voice. There's no dramas. I've never failed, sort of thing." And uh, I think after an hour and a half, he said, "Forget it, mate. You'll never be able to sing." Damn, I dude, he it would take a week in a cabin with Crystal with a tuning fork. And like symbols to try to get her. She was, uh, it was. Oh, I, I'll never be able to. No, I'll be tone deaf forever. And here, and she's the one that. <laughs> yeah. Being stubborn though, I just make sure I write songs into my set list, so I go out and put this wonderful <laughs> voice to the. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he's like bitch slapping everybody with his songs. I, you know, uh, Crystal's the one who will go out and buy the karaoke games for the uh, for the Xbox, which blows me away. She's like, oh, I love this thing. I'm like, yeah, I don't, I don't understand why. <laughs> 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 We've got a shanty in this week that threw a few of the guys that that Petra's Gav didn't want to sing it, and Petra's refusing to sing Irish shanties anymore. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's ruffling a few feathers. They're going, "How the hell do you know these songs?" I, go, well, I don't know. I just, you know, I, I scour the internet for these ridiculous songs, and they pop up, and I said, "Let's sing them." I don't know them any more than they don't know them. <laughs> well, that's it. Crystal's never heard the Monty Python song, so she had to. You know, she's like, I, I said, play it a couple times and listen to it. But she, yeah, it was, she couldn't get the tune at all. It's going to be really funny to see how you mesh that in with everybody else. It's either going to be like really awful or it's going to, it's going to be so smooth and fit so perfectly because it's almost like she's singing, uh, uh, what do you call it? When, uh, when somebody sings an octave up, it's, uh, like anti harmony. No. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I think I think the scene set beforehand. You know, it's an it's a fight. You know, I'm fighting with a seagull. She's Crystal and Gav are fighting. Petra and John, Kev's fighting with nobody but himself. Jimmy's knocked out. I think out of that scene, you know, it's it'll just all mesh in together. It'll <coughs> it'll everyone pops up for a little bit of a sing, and then Dave's going to say a line because Dave's on a pedal bike out beyond the breakers. He can't get in. So he's singing his lines with a megaphone. Oh my god! Well, don't ruin so it. Only d- don't don't ruin yeah, the well, surprise. It's gonna be good. <laughs> It'll be a good episode, I think. I still, <clears throat> I don't know if you can top though, the Bohemian tragedy with Gav's opening, which I yeah. I've done in front of my son in the shower. He was looking at me like, "What the hell are you doing?" I was like, it, "Everything was quiet." And I'm like, "Is this the real life?" Wasn't it brilliant? It was just brilliant. And then yeah. last week he done a uh, an outro to God Only Knows with a full rant on God, and I just thought it was just brilliant. It's just he's got he's kind of sucked into what he's saying. You instantaneously <laughs> stop what you're doing. Uh, if 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 anyone was to rule the world, if anyone was to really wear a, some weird outfit and stand up in front of the masses and just completely, well, the Pope does it, I guess. But other than him, <laughs> Gav. Uh, People would just stop and listen because of the voice. They'd yeah. Go, uh, wh- yes, we must do this. Yeah, no, I, I, as I'm saying, I'm like, oh, this is going to be good. Just that accent, though, you know, is this a fantasy? And I'm like, yeah, I, whatever you say, brother, I'm with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> well, we're looking forward to it. And uh, as always, uh, you know, uh, I love the fact that you're uh, calling the show again. And I'm getting Marty to call. We're getting every all the old people are calling back now. It's I fun. Know. It's good. Yeah, like Everyone's it. getting back in the line. We got, we got, a, and it's good. It's nice to keep this worldly contact going. I had a little special treat on me fish run today. One of my customers turned a hundred. Wow! She turns a hundred tomorrow. One hundred. I went and got wow. a, a, a some flowers for her and took over. And she, I said, no charge today. She says, I got to pay for the, the fish. I said, lady, it's taken you a hundred years to get a discount. Just run with it. <laughs> <laughs> so that was. <laughs> <laughs> I'll charge a double next week. Yeah, so, over. yeah, we'll make we'll make up for it if you get another year. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> no, it's good. We've got a few little surprises coming up in the next few weeks. And Sweet, a few uh, a few um, random people that you may or may not know popping their little voices in there and 
Uh, yeah, it'll be a lot of fun. Even though you take breaks, when you come back from your breaks, you hit it hard. Uh, with you know, first the couch sessions, and uh, you know, first the <laughs> first the prank calls, then the couch sessions, and now this, you're you're killing it, dude, and we love it. This is my favorite by far. I think I think it's my favorite because it's a. It doesn't feel like me. I feel like a, I'm just. A, I have a shitty little role in it, but you know, I just love the connection with people from all over and just getting this. You know, just getting to work with these great people and and yourselves included, even talking about it. You know, like it's just a cool vibe. I love it. Yeah, no, you guys are good people, man. I don't know. Pat Charlie called early and he said we always say bad things. I, I I've never said that about him. I I, I think he's great, and uh, even though I I have it pains me to admit it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right yeah. all right brother well listen no, he's a good lad yeah no he's good it's gonna be good i'm looking forward to it. you can check that out on uh spreaker it's called 30 minutes in the back room it's called shipwreck that's the thing check it out this week check it out next week got some good stuff coming up thanks guys all the best have a nice evening all right there you go there you go brad mcclain Bye-bye. all right brad mcclain <clears throat> checking in we're about done here uh you can check out the rebroadcast of this show on uh gear radio saturday mornings from 8 30 to 10 30 also friday nights on irn uh internet radio broadcast uh thank you so much uh for rebroadcasting the show he's been doing a great job um anything else you want to say when we almighty one plays it? what's that yeah i just said that gear radio saturday oh. really uh, it's been a great show. I want to thank uh, Petricelli, Brad McLean, Marty Hoffman, Brady Ferguson. Brady Ferguson? Brady Ferguson. <laughs> Brady. Boot in a boot. <laughs> hey, hey, boot. He came out really Canadian. Like, normally he doesn't have a huge Canadian accent, but tonight <laughs> it was coming out strong. Yeah, he came out he Twitter said, strong. He said oot. He said eh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's awesome. That. It's all good. Uh, in two weeks, Eddie Beer will be on the show. Next week, we'll be back in the studio. Sarah Wilcox will be here on the 26th. If you want to check out comedy, Bonkers, Friday night, High Octane Saloon. That's bonkerscomedy.com. Uh, Side Splitters on Sunday. It's been a great show. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Crystal, for the cookies. Stay tuned for the Tiffany Barbie Dutch Oven Challenge. Yeah, baby. We'll see you guys next week. Thanks for listening. <laughs>